Hello, how's it going? Hello. Oh my god, my voice. Oh no, shit. Am I gonna... Hello? Oh no. Hello? Fuck, I haven't talked in eight hours. This is the first time I'm talking today. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Uh, how do I sound? Hello? All right, we're back. How's it going? Dude, I can't do this. I can't do it. It's a mistake. I should have taken a day off. I sound I sound like an old I sound like an old smoker. I sound like I'm doing a pack a day. I got a crunchy ass voice. I'm not sunsetting. I I lost my voice. I lost my voice. All right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll talk, I'll talk like this. If I talk like this, then it'll sound fine. I'm not rusty. I'm not. What is up, chat? Welcome back to stream. How are we all doing today? Hopefully, I had a fantastic weekend. Good weekend. I hope. Why is your mic so hairy? I don't know, man. It collects hair. I don't, I, I don't. Get rid of it. I'm cool with the hair. I'm one with the hair in a way. Wait. 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 Oh no. Wait, chat. Oh no. Chat, I have a private Discord that I like to send myself files to to, to show on stream and talk about. But I'm realizing that the files aren't actually in my Discord, which means I sent them to somebody in in my stupid brain. And I just, the issue is I don't know who I sent them to. I basically sent someone a bunch of embarrassing pictures of myself. This is so bad. This is so bad for me. Who did I just send? Oh, fuck. All right, well, we'll figure that out later. Chat, how we doing? Well, well hello. Well, uh, do you guys miss me? It's been a couple days. I, I'll be honest. I'll come clean. I usually don't say nice shit like this, but I miss streaming. Not at all because of you guys. I wanted to play Suica game all fucking weekend. Oh my god, I've been missing that game. Jesus. Not, no, it's not you. Zero percent, you guys. Suica game has been on my mind. I have fallen asleep every night dreaming of fruit. Valkyrie Ray's, and I'm going to say something hurtful here, dumb ass has not beat my score. It hasn't happened. You know why? Because I keep up. I tune in. I see what she does. And and honestly, it, it makes me feel better. <laughs> okay? Because there's another goddamn addict amongst us. You can see, look at this, past three streams, <laughs> 20 damn hours, and her score sitting at like a like a dusty-ass 3,122. That made me feel good. I was starting to, uh, you know, I had this thought, and it's, and it's, you know, obviously not true, but I had this thought for a moment. I thought, maybe I'm not good at video games. I just think Connor might be weirdly good. Anyway, chat, today the goal is simple. I want to play a little bit of the Suica game, and I want to talk through some of the stories from TwitchCon uh, uh, Vegas. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm fresh from Vegas. I just got back today. In fact, today, it's still going on. I think there's people streaming from Vegas right now at TwitchCon. Knut's getting married, but I went home a day early because the worst thing in the world, this is a, this is a true this is a true theory I have. The, the worst place you can wake up in the world is Monday morning in Las Vegas. <laughs> Monday morning in Las Vegas, it, I don't know what happens. I think they drain the color from the city. They take all the lights out. They, t they turn off the AC. It's fucking depressing. It's basically just a bunch of pilgrimages to the airport with broke-ass people, sad that they gambled more than they should have, drank more than they should have, and didn't get enough sleep as they should have. So I came up with a theory. It's the Ludwig genius theory. You leave Sunday. <laughs> that's, my, that's my whole theory. 
and it, you know what? I feel a lot fucking better. I was home. I chilled. I made myself food rather than eating out. God damn it. Amazing things. But since I am back, because I am back, I can now regale you with some tales of what happened in TwitchCon. And you might, at this point, have a single question, which is, Ludwig, you keep talking about TwitchCon. Aren't you a YouTube streamer? Are you even allowed to be here? Are you, wait, aren't you, hey, are, hey, aren't you a YouTube, are you allowed to be here? Fuck you! Fuck you! God damn it! I'm so happy I can say that now. The, the hundreds of people, swaths of people, just saying that everywhere I go. Yes! Motherfucker, I am allowed to be here. Thank you very much. I bought a damn ticket. I'm not Aiden Ross. <laughs> I can walk into the building without getting kicked out. I appreciate your concern. So anyway, I was at TwitchCon. As a YouTube streamer. Now, the main reason I was at TwitchCon was mostly to uh, to hang out with, with, with um, friends I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, you know, be there to experience the ambiance, support cutie in any way I can. What the hell is happening to my mic right now? What, are we good? Are we good? Good. Guys, okay, stop talking about my hairy mic. Wait, hold up. I got it. Hold on. I'm going to fix my hairy mic. Hello. Hello. New mic. New mic head. Uh, all right. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get too deep into the stories, I need to tag the entirety of my Discord and let them know I'm live on YouTube.com, the premier website to stream. That was a lie. You guys know that's a lie. But it is a website to stream, and it's my website to stream. I'm live. How does my voice sound? Hello? Hello? One, two, three... Did I miss any stories? No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. We're we're just we're just hey, we're just getting to know each other. It's been a couple days. Let's let's, you know, let's get back to to chatting, chitting. Um I'm I'm hoping to go through a couple stories today. I don't honestly, I don't know if I'm capable of playing Suica game while telling a story. I feel like because I used to do this with Mario, and I, I, well, I'd be really bad at Mario, but I would get the story out. So I might try, I'm just going to try it, and, and and it might end up that I'm, like, pausing a lot in the gameplay, but, like, you know, don't, like, don't be weird. If, you know, if I'm slightly worse, because, like, normally I do shit people have never seen before, right? <laughs> normally I get big for you guys. I get big for you. I'm big for you. But today, I might be a little bit worse, just a twinge, because I'm doing Sweet Good Game. Is that fair? I feel like this is fair. I'm just asking, I'm honestly asking for a little bit of, of leeway, a little leash, a little leash. Because I know you guys really hold me up to high standards for my gaming ability. Excuse me. All right. Uh, no, I don't want to. Oh, my God, dude. This is like coming back to a fucking murder scene. Oh, my God. This run was so good. What a good ass run. How the fuck did the apple do that? How did the apple get that high? What a stupid apple. All right, well, if you guys don't know, I'm not even going to fucking explain it. You guys all know. This is Connor's score, 3,324. He got it on my Switch. Dude, that's that's the worst fucking part. Is that Connor's stupid British ass used my Switch. So my Switch has his high score. If it's my Switch, why is it your high score? Type B. Anyway, we're going to turn the music off.
I think. That's the better call. Wait, I muted myself. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, I turned that off. I turned that off. And then we don't have to listen to the, the music. There we go. The music's the worst part of the game. It gets old. It gets old. It gets old. I, I, this is not controversial. It gets old. Get another buzz cut? I've thought about it, but I, dude, I really want my hair back. My hair looks so good when it's long and shit, and I fucking, and I go fucking, you know what I mean? So. Uh, all right, chat. I'm going to play Jay Schlatt Animal Crossing playlist in the background quietly while I go through my stories. I got a message from Otto. Otto said, PvP watermelon game is well underway. You can test it here. Ooh. I messaged you on Slack about a Slack command. Ooh. Wait, Otto's cooking. Oh, I'm going to reply, oh my god. He, <laughs> that's so cool. I can only get 2100. Jewel, honestly, for like a layman, that's really good. Uh, don't look at me and think you should be that. Like, I am otherworldly <laughs> at video games. All right, can we focus? Can we stop fucking about? I feel like all we're doing is fucking about. I would like to focus. Can we play Suica Game on OC yet? You can play Suica Game uh, on a normal Switch. They came out with it. It's called a Watermelon Game. It's on the Switch store. Um, all right. Back to it. Focus. I hey, have love. returned. Love the content. Don't But if do I may this... put in a request, add the Godskin Apostles theme into the song rotation. Flames, fire, 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 fire. Oh, like fire emoji. Like it's hot. I will consider your request. I appreciate it. All right. Back to it. Um, I just came back from TwitchCon. Okay. And, and, and yes, I'm allowed to be at TwitchCon. However, it is still somewhat valuable for me to try to go undercover at TwitchCon. Not like from the feds, not from the TwitchCon staff, but purely from viewers who, if I walk around, will absolutely mob me. And although I am allowed to be at TwitchCon, I'm not given, like, the same things that other Twitch partners are given. Like, I don't have a security guard who follows me around. You know, I I have, in fact, I don't even have a partner badge. Like, I, I can't even get into the partner lounge. This isn't my badge that I got. I'll, I'll show you guys. I have a fucking, I have a community badge. <laughs> so, every badge is supposed to, it's supposed to be, like, community, affiliate, or partner, or, like, maybe exhibitor. And then in the top right is a link to your Twitch channel. <laughs> if you look at this QR code, it just Googles the, the word Ludwig. It's not even a link to my Twitch page. I still have a Twitch page. It has 3 million damn followers. They didn't use that. It's just Ludwig. The fucking drums came up when I did it. However, however, you'll notice something on this, on this, on this picture. And it's not the little cumboy bracelet. We'll get to that in a moment. We're, hold, we're, we're going to have to talk about that. We're going to have, to have, we're gonna have a fucking conversation together about that. But I have this thing right here, which is actually really hype, okay? This is basically like the, the catch-all. It's like, it, it's, the, it, it's the master key. It's the skeleton key. This little, like, X box logo that's purple allows me to go not into the partner lounge, but into the next level secret lounge. Because Twitch is a very big website. And so they have, you know, general admission, they have a partner area, and then they have like a primo partner area. And it's called the Purple Lounge. And my ticket had access to the Purple Lounge. Which not only meant that I could hang out and see people like Ranbu and XQC, but I also could use the back entrance to the convention center. From there, they weren't really guiding me and I wasn't allowed to go like behind the stage and Twitch Rivals. 
So I had to fend for myself when I got to the actual floor. Like when I was actually at the convention, I had to make sure that, you know, I had I I wasn't going to get ambushed by a hundred people who wanted a picture with me because they vaguely remember watching a mogul mail six months ago. And so I came up with a genius disguise to sneak through all of TwitchCon. I uh, actually have a picture of it. I'll show you. It's actually, um, I think. Wait, hold up. I'm going to show you right now. I forgot to send it from my phone. Pause champ, pause champ, pause champ. There we go. All right, this is my genius disguise. And I swear to God, this works so well. That's it. <laughs> that was my whole disguise. <laughs> I just wore this hat, which is Resorts World Las Vegas. And then I put on a like COVID mask and I walked around and I just looked like a white guy. That's it. It's that fucking easy for at least me to go around. Most people recognize me from my hair or honestly from my shoes. But the good news is that normally I wear Crocs, which is a very recognizable thing. And people, if they saw me in Crocs, they would go, ah, maybe Ludwig. However, TwitchCon was sponsored by Crocs. And every single Twitch partner got their own pair of Crocs. So it was the least conspicuous shoe wear I could possibly wear. And it also happened to be the only thing that I fucking own. So anyway, I'm wearing my disguise. And the disguise works really well. As long as I don't make eye contact. Basically, if I walk around... Everybody becomes a hitman like guard. <laughs> and if I get kind of close to them, then like the yellow thing starts going. It goes. Shh. And if I make eye contact for more than a second, they'll do like a double take. This this happens so many times. It'd be like like a random person. Like I'm walk, I'm walking through the convention center, right? Minding my own business. And then someone sees me and I look at them and then we lock eyes. They do this. They go. And so I had to make sure that I didn't keep eye contact. Otherwise, the fucking hitman meter was, shh, pew. hey, are you Ludwig? <laughs> Can I get a picture? And I would, and I would get swarmed. So I was, I was basically playing my own secret game of hitman for the entire weekend, which was actually pretty fun uh, in my disguise. But I bet some of you here are thinking, Ludwig, that disguise probably did not work. I think you are overhyping how good your disguise was. I'm going to show you guys a, uh, a quick video here uh, of me in my disguise just walking around saying hello to someone. <laughs> I wore my disguise and I went up to Box Box. And I tried to take a picture with him. And he had no fucking clue it was me. So I took off my mask. And he still had no fucking clue it was me. It was only when I said, how you doing, man? That he recognized that, oh, wait, this is Ludwig. I have hung out with this guy before. <laughs> In fact, the previous evening, we hung out for like an hour. <laughs> for a... Uh, uh, so I was at TwitchCon for a couple reasons, right? I was in disguise at TwitchCon for a couple reasons. One of the reasons, I had a sponsor at TwitchCon. I had a sponsor with uh, actually Samsung. And Samsung was like, you know, if you guys, some of you might have been there, they did, I did a meet and greet at the Samsung booth. I met a lot of y'all. It was pretty fun. But they also wanted me to make like a YouTube short of my experience, you know? But like, if I'm going to make a YouTube short, I'm not just going to be like, I went to TwitchCon. I'm here at the Samsung booth. It was cool. I want to do something kind of fun. So my big idea 
was that I would walk around disguise and try to meet as many streamers as I could. And it worked pretty well. <laughs> I uh, I put on the hat and the mask. And uh, and I'll, I'll put this in a YouTube short so you'll see it. I don't have the video right now. But I went to meet Extra Emily at her meet and greet. And Extra Emily is like... Like, doing really well at her meet and greet. Like, it's towards the end of it. Um, and every person who comes up, she's like, Hello, human. <laughs> and I walk up, and I don't want to say anything. Because I've hung out with Emily. She knows my voice. So I walk up to her, and I just... And I kind of, like... I kind of act like no face from Spirited Away. I kind of just go with my phone. I go, Huh. Huh. Like, signaling for a video. And she did not recognize me at all. But I also think that I kind of fucking scared her. Because I was wearing all black. I'm big as shit because I'm huge with my big muscles. Because I'm so big for you guys. And then I just left. And I was like, I that this was probably a bad call. <laughs> I probably need to do this a little better. And so my new game plan, I went into another line. I went to, I went to uh, Janet. Choco Bar's line, and I wanted to do a meet and greet there with Janet. You know, same thing. All right, I pull up. I, uh, I, 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 I motion for the phone, and then I do the mask pull down. And I'll have a video of this. It'll be in the YouTube short. The moment I pull down the mask, she recognized me, and then she goes, "Dude, that was scary as fuck. I thought you were gonna kill me." <laughs> so I stopped doing it because I, you know. I felt a little bit bad that people felt their lives were threatened by my massive, huge, ba massive body that's big for you. My body's big for you. But that was, that was, that was my sneaking around. Uh, and most of my stories today are not going to be at TwitchCon. I have come to realize that TwitchCon should not be in Las Vegas. I believe this outright. I think Vegas is a bad location for the event because I realized that every cool thing that happened was not at TwitchCon. It was at Las Vegas on the Strip. It was basically a Vegas trip. And for Twitch, that's not a good thing. You would rather people are going to the TwitchCon stuff, not to the Vegas stuff. It was pretty much, hey, go to a fancy restaurant on the Strip. Go to a club on the strip. Go to bed on the strip. Go to TwitchCon for an hour. Go back. Like, that was kind of the vibe. It might be an incentive for creators to go, but creators going and then not going to your con is as useless as creators staying home. Uh, and I will say, I like TwitchCon. I've been to, like, I've been at every TwitchCon since 20, I think, 17. I think 2017, I went to every TwitchCon. So, like, you know, five five years now. I, they obviously didn't do one for um, COVID. But I've been to a lot of TwitchCons. Uh, this one, this one was pretty good. I will say, on the final day, I had, like, a clean hour. So I'm in my disguise. I'm walking around for my, for my final hour. Uh, and I was basically able to do everything in about, like, an hour. Like... Deadass, I had one hour. I was waiting for Cutie to finish her meet and greet at AT and T. So I walked through the artist lane. I walked through the loot cave. I walked into some of the different booths. You know, like you basically could do it all outside of meet and greets in any shows that you wanted to watch, uh, as long as you just had an hour. <laughs> Um, not to say it wasn't fun, by the way. The only thing that I'm going to flame Twitch for, because I, I'm not trying to make enemies of Twitch, even though I'm the YouTube guy. I will flame them for one thing. This was atrocious. Dude. What is this merch? This was their exclusive TwitchCon tee. Dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is horrible. And I say this as someone who has liked many of the old Twitch merch. Like, for a long time, I feel like they made some dope shit that people really liked. This year, there was one cool item 
And it was this cowboy hat, which is a bit gimmicky because you're not going to wear it day to day. And then it was mostly like repeats from previous years. And then this lineup. What is this circus clown fucking lineup? Now, I will say, I don't know whose job it is at Twitch to stylize merch. But, like, I mean, like, dress up mannequins. Whoever did that at TwitchCon, I, I don't know if this message can reach them, if anyone here knows who that is. Fantastic job. Oh, my God. I'm not, I'm not even, this is, like, totally, this is not even part of a story or anything. They just did so, I was genuinely so impressed. All the mannequins looked amazing. Anyway, back to it. It was not you. Don't say it was me, smiley face. You're... Obviously, it was not you. By the way, I, I'm killing it in Sweeka game. It turns out that if I just go slower, I play better. Uh, wait. Quick, quick apple break. All right. Uh, okay. Focus. Focus. What am I focusing on? Ah, TwitchCon. <laughs> so it's TwitchCon Las Vegas, all right? Nah, I don't like this slot playlist. Maybe this one. Ah. TwitchCon Las Vegas. And so, as you might expect from me, I... How do I phrase this? You guys know that I'm not, like, a gambling addict. I just occasionally gamble but like I you know I'm not addicted I could stop whenever I want I I gamble purely for fun I it's not like you know it's not that big of a deal to me you know I don't I'm not really that much of a gambler uh some people though have the impression that I uh that I might gamble a lot <laughs> you know more more than you probably should but, if you know anything about gambling in Vegas, you need cash. And to get cash, it turns out you need a debit card and you need to go to the bank. And the day that I was supposed to go to the bank and get all the money for Las Vegas was the last day I streamed. And if you happen to see that stream, you will know that I basically spent all day playing Suica game. And so I absolutely the fuck did not make it to the bank. And so I showed up to Vegas with a grand total of $1,000 to spend. Not a, 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 a negligible amount of money, mind you. But I certainly think not the amount that most people would expect somebody who is not addicted to gambling in any way, shape, or form, but might have a reputation to be a gambling addict, though, though, though they are not a gambling addict, to bring. Does that make sense? And I, I realized that my reputation precedes me because I told other streamers that I brought $1,000. And I think BoxBox, Box, no joke, said, wow, that's it. And I was like, Albert, that's like, it's a good chunk of money. He's like, yeah, I just thought you were like a degenerate. And I was like, oh, what the, like, no, no, I, I, okay, no, I'm actually not. I'm actually really fiscally responsible. People say that about me often. I brought $1,000 to gamble with. Um, and night one, I played the greatest gambling game that exists in the history of the world. Hold up. I'm going to go for a classy maneuver here. We're about to get a melon. What I fucking tell you. Pop. Pop. Night one, we played the greatest gambling that exists on earth. And it was specifically uh, Pete's birthday. Uh, and Pete, I taught him the beautiful game of craps. Which if you don't gamble, I can only explain as the greatest gambling game. Because it is purely a social game. 
Usually, everyone on the table is rooting for the same outcome. You are all cheering together and you are participating physically in the activity. It's not a game I would recommend to go by yourself solo unless you're trying to make friends. But if you have a group of like six people you want to hang out with, I don't think there's a better game than craps. Because like, think about it. Blackjack, you're going to have like a loser. You know, like someone's just going to be having a worse time because they're not doing as well in blackjack because they're like someone has to be unlucky. The same thing can just not be said for craps. Okay, good move there. Okay, pause champ. I need a, I need a fucking cherry. Don't, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I knew this would happen if I told stories and played this game. <laughs> Bop, bop, bop. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. We got time. We got time. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Why the fuck are you giving me so many fucking apples? No. Oh, why are you giving me so many? No, I'm throwing. Okay. Are you going to rage quit like you did last time? Okay, to be clear, I did not rage quit. I had to catch a flight to go to TwitchCon. So I could play craps with Pete. And, oh my god. So Pete, Pete, it's, it was his fucking birthday, dude. It's this guy's birthday. He just turned 40, the big 4-0. And I have the responsibility of showing him craps. And the whole night he's talking about how much fun he thinks craps would be. But he had no idea how it worked. And the only thing that's really worth explaining here today, I'm not trying to teach you about how craps works. The only thing that's worth explaining is that in the game of craps, you do not want to get the number seven. Seven's a bad number, right? Just generically speaking, you don't want a seven as the shooter, the person rolling the dice. And Pete never, never played the game before in his life, somewhat nervous about it. He's like, dude, I really, really, really don't want to throw a seven and lose these people all their money. I would feel horrible if that happened. And I was like, don't worry about it, dude. Nobody like nobody holds it against you personally. If you happen to roll a seven, that's just unlucky. Nobody would be mad at you. And he's like, all right, all right, all right. Guess what fucking happened? <laughs> the first time that Pete rolls the dice. He instantly rolls a seven. But you know what? Like, whatever. He, he got a bit unlucky. Run it back. You wait for the dice to go all the way around the table. They go all the way around the table. Pete goes again. Guess what happened the second time he rolled the dice? I loaded up the board, right? Because you can load up the board. You can basically put down like $500 in craps. It's a game that you can, you can bet a lot. You can win a lot, but you can also lose a lot. I load up the board. I put $500 down. Basically, any number he were to roll, 1 through 12, two six-sided dice, I would get money. Any number. Except for 7. His first roll throws out a hot, stinking 7. And, and we're there, by the way, with, with some of Pete's family. It's like his cousin, one of his friends, his buddies from like college or something. OG friends. Do they start making fun of him? They start making fun of him. And then they were hanging out with some other person like on the opposite side of the craps table. And they start calling him New Pete. And they're going, dude, we got New Pete, man. We don't fuck with you anymore. We got New Pete, bro. And it's like, it's becoming like, oh, we, uh, you know, Pete, American Pete, his fucking birthday just turned 40 Pete is like, oh, that, you know, that's kind of, that's wash Pete. New Pete's all the rage. Uh, and I'm starting to feel a bit bad, you know? And so I look over, I look over to Pete, and I'm like, okay. Craps, like a lot of things in life, is purely blind confidence. Just speak it into the universe. Be blindly confident about what you are going to do when you roll the dice. And so he does exactly that. He starts to get blindly confident. And I would argue he starts to get a bit rowdy. <laughs> because Pete, when he goes for his third dice roll, 
before he even starts rolling, bear in mind, he has lost people thousands of dollars. He turns around to every other table at the casino and he starts yelling, if you want free money, come here. The printer's open. It's Venezuela, baby. We're printing money. At the top of his lungs, he's like six beers deep. Everyone at our table is like rolling our eyes. We're like, Pete, what the fuck are you doing right now? You've lost us thousands. But then he starts rolling. And my God, does he start fucking cooking? He goes on a 45 minute bender. I walked into that table with $1,000. I went down to $100. By the end of his 45 minute run, I had $2,000 dollars in my hands he couldn't miss i'm not fucking with you he was doing shit i have never seen before there were points where he would look at the dice and he'd be like it's a five there's a five in my hands and the dealers would be like what are you talking about what you, sir can you please roll the dice and he'd be like okay he'd roll fucking five and he's like i told you you should have bet free money and in the two hours that I showed Pete the great game that is known as craps, I birthed an addict. Because <laughs> every single night he went back to that damn table to get a little rush. A little hit of what can happen when you're playing. Uh, and, that, and that started the gambling adventures. Ooh, this is going to be beautiful. Hold up. Yup. All right, hold on. Let me do shit no one's ever seen before real quick. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I am a fucking god at this game. I'm good. I'm a fucking god at this game. I'm a god at... Wait, no, I choked so fucking hard. Wait, 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 wait. Can I salvage this? No, I can't. Fuck. 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 Shit. 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 Chat, shit. Shit. No, we're fine. We're fine because I do shit no one's ever seen before. And I'll just continue to do that. Oh, it's Jover. Oh, it's Jover. Are you kidding me? Are you guys not going to combine? Oh, I need you to combine with that peach so bad. I need you to combine with that peach so bad, though. <gasps> Wait, touch for us. Dude, that would have been such a good run. Dude, I busted out a watermelon off a rip, but I couldn't close. I'm not a closer. No. Okay. Oh, it's a fumble. Well, damn it. Uh, back to it. Back to the story is the one thing that I can't fucking do because I can't beat this goddamn game. Um, at TwitchCon, I basically had one obligation. My only obligation that I had to do was a sponsor at the Samsung booth. And it was basically my version of a meet and greet. Because obviously, I'm a YouTube streamer. Twitch is not in the business of giving me a meet and greet spot because that wouldn't make any damn sense. So the only way I can do a meet and greet is a sponsored version. And in fact, this is the first TwitchCon that I've been to where I have seen a fuck ton of sponsored meet and greets. I don't know if you guys went to TwitchCon uh, or, or had any friends that did, but by far, I had seen more sponsored meet and greets than ever before. 
basically like like Cutie had one at the AT and T booth. Uh, Box Box had one, I think, at like the Genshin booth. It was a way for people to or, or sponsors to get people to go to their booths because you just get the creator to show up, and then it's like, oh, I'm well, I'm already at the booth, you know, might as well hang out. Uh, and and I got to meet a lot of you guys. I got to meet like I I was supposed to go to this booth for four hours. Ninety minutes of it was supposed to be filming a short. Uh, an hour of it was supposed to be uh, some like mobile game tournament, and then one hour was supposed to be a meet and greet. I was supposed to do an, a meet and greet for one hour. I ended up doing a meet and greet for about four hours straight. <laughs> there were just so many of of you guys who showed up, and uh, and and I think what happens, and this is not to toot my own horn and say like I'm fucking famous as shit, but I think what happens. Once people start to recognize me, usually the first people that recognize me are fans. People who like watching me, maybe who like watching the streams, maybe they like Mogul Mail, and they come up and they go, oh, you're a Mogul Mail guy. But then, a group forms. And when other people see the group, they're like, oh, fuck. Well, hey, I will probably never ever see Ludwig again in my life, and I paid money for this TwitchCon ticket. I'm going to go ask him for a picture. There are three phrases that people said to me more than any other phrase as soon as they would meet me. Okay. <laughs> the first phrase is, uh, hey, you're taller than I thought. A lot of people said this. Many people said this. Yes, it is true. Yup, it is true. Many people, yep. Oh, no, it, no, Ludwig, no, that, yep, it happened. Yup. It factually, many people came up to me and said, Ludwig, you are much taller than I thought. You are very tall in person. What a tall person you are. This is a true thing that happened. That was the number one most popular thing people would say. The number two most common thing that people would say when they meet me is, uh, hey, can you take the picture? You have longer arms. I don't know where this sentence came from. I don't think I have very long arms. I think the reality is most people were nervous and their hands were shaking, so they weren't capable of taking a picture. <laughs> but the way they would say it is, hey, can you take the picture? You got long arms. Second most popular phrase. The third most popular phrase, and I have to preface, this one fucking hurt my feelings. The third most popular phrase that I heard was, uh, hey man, I don't really watch you, but. <laughs> hey man, I don't really watch you, but. Can I get a picture? Hey man, uh, yeah, I just don't really know how to find like your streams or whatever, but can you sign my badge? And my ass is sitting there like, well, fuck you. I don't really watch your ass. <laughs> you know, but I, I get it. Like, I don't want people to have a bad time. So I sit there and I take the damn picture, feeling like a clown. Um, but those, that, that's the, those are the most popular things that people were saying. The main greet went great, though. One weird thing, this is the first time this ever happened to me, one weird quirk of TwitchCon this year is that people at the meet and greet had gifts for me, which is not really something I am used to. I know that's very popular in the Minecraft community. When they do meet and greet, they walk out of there like a, like a fucking trick-or-treating fiesta. I'm not even kidding. I, I was in the purple lounge, which is like the fancy lounge with all the famous partners and stuff, and there was a group of Minecrafters, and they were doing a, a, like a haul, like an unboxing of things they got at their meet and greet. And they're like, oh my god, you you got the fucking, uh, you got the fucking ventriloquist dummy. I've got one too. Sorry, Amesy, that was my best impression. And I and I was there and I was like twiddling my thumb. I was like, I don't, no one gives me shit. No one gives, no, are you kidding me? They say, hey, can you hit the luddy? And then they fuck off. But this time, I actually got some shit from viewers. And it's not because you guys magically became more passionate viewers. That's not the case at all. It is thanks to a one QT Cinderella. That's right. QT Cinderella. Because QT started a trend this year. Where people showed up to meet and greets. To, to booths. With some uh some candy which is a what's the term like a like a rave term 
uh, for like the Taylor Swift bracelets. Basically, uh, um, let me see if I can find a picture on Google. Taylor Swift bracelets. Cutie told all her viewers to make sure to show up with bracelets. And Cutie herself made 130 bracelets. I, I, I was watching TV every night next to her while she made bracelets to give to her uh, viewers. I didn't do shit. I, I just fucking showed up. But a lot of people who like Cutie happen to also like me uh, to some degree. And so people also made bracelets for me. Kind of like these ones. Except rather than being references to Taylor Swift albums like you would do at an Eras concert, it was references to my stream. <laughs> And that brings us to a problem. Because I don't feel comfortable getting bracelets from people that call me a pussy and then little cum boy. And now is where we have to draw a line. I don't think that I should be subjected to a 28-year-old man, middle 20s, that's what they call us, mid-20s, bracelets that say these things. Okay? It's humiliating. And remember this bracelet because I wore it the entire weekend and it did come back to bite my ass. Remember this bracelet. It comes back to bite my ass. But let's continue. Because I got many more bracelets. Uh, it was very sweet to meet everybody. I handed out a bunch of stickers that, that Cutie had made of Coots, Durs, and Swift. Um, and, uh, and after the meet and greet, I was done. Like literally, I had nothing else to do at TwitchCon but hang out with people. That was my sole responsibility is hang out with people, have a generally good time. Gamble if I want, yada yada, but but there are no real responsibilities because I'm not a goddamn Twitch streamer. Uh, and so the only time, <laughs> the only time I would actually run into viewers because my disguise was so good is if I failed the Hitman test. Remember the Hitman test I was talking about earlier? If I made eye contact with someone for too long, they would see through my disguise and they'd come up to me. Which was fine. I would never turn somebody away if they recognized me. You know, I'd say hello or whatever. But I would always ask for something in return. Because I was very bad at walking through the venue because I'm really dumb, so I got confused a lot. I would make people guide me around like a, like a border collie. And I was a sheep. So I'd say, I would say, I would say, uh, yeah, I will, I will sign this for you and take a picture in exchange. You must bring me to the Crocs booth because I am lost and 28 years old. <laughs> and I would, I would literally give them a quest in exchange for, uh, signing whatever. I did that a fuck ton. And at one point I did it with this kid and this, this is, a, this is a side story. It's not like a, you know, this, I just want to bring this up cause this really stuck with me. So I'm supposed to get to the Crocs booth, right? I want to meet the people at Crocs. They got me my Toe Mater Crocs. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, brand new Crocs just dropped. I got them. Uh, I can't get it full screen on Instagram because I don't have a login, but that's chill because I can just show you like this. I got these Toe Mater Crocs, which are fucking dope as hell. So I had to go to the Crocs booth to get them. But I couldn't find the Crocs booth for the life of me. I literally spent 15 minutes walking around. By the way, cake the fuck up. Follow me on Instagram. I post caked up pictures and pictures of me with capybaras often. Check out my Instagram. I'm trying to reach 1 million followers. Once I do, I'm doing the $1 million giveaway where I do not give away a million dollars. But it is still called a $1 million giveaway. Anyway, back to the story. So I'm trying to find this booth. I fail a Hitman challenge. A kid comes up to me and he goes, Ludwig? And I go, yep, that's me. And he goes, hey man, just wanted to say what's up. Love your shit. Uh, and then he, he goes into the story about how he's a streamer himself. He's got like 80 viewers. He's just started. And, uh, and one of the, one of the things that people actually told me a lot, like most people don't recognize me, uh, I think as like a casual stream viewer, like in the grand scheme, like if you think like I got, I got wh whatever, like 5 million subscribers on, uh, on YouTube, most of them aren't here. <laughs> you guys are part of a huge minority. Most people watch a YouTube video or Oftentimes, a lot of people are like, hey, I just watched Mogul Mail. But the one YouTube video that I feel like was the most impactful that I've created, or at least it feels like that because people brought it up so much. I don't know if you guys remember this video that I uploaded. It's the uh, watch this video be before you become a streamer. I made this video a couple years ago now. It was like a tutorial I, I put a lot of effort into on what I thought was the most valuable thing to know if you wanted to be a big streamer. And I, and I try to put all my mental 
facilities into making it a, a damn good tutorial, which I, I think it was. I was I'm pretty proud of that video. I think it's very informative. Um, but that video, uh, people brought up all the fucking time. Like there, there are people who, who straight up were like, I, dude, I started streaming because I watched that video and like, I, you know, I, I, I actually wrote the thing down when you said just quit and that made me feel good. And then, and now I am a partner or whatever. And that blew my mind, blew my mind. Uh, and so this kid says that exact thing to me. He's like, yeah, man, I, you know, I watch a video and uh, ever since then, I, I started uh, doing the stream stuff, and it, you know it's kind of working out. Uh, and he told me he had, he 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 came from Riverside, in uh, in California. And if you don't know Riverside, it's like an area of California that people kind of make fun of, kind of like Bakersfield. It's like a, it's like an Ohio of California. It's not a destination that people like to go to. It's not a vacation spot, you know. Most people do not choose. To go to Riverside. And he's like, yeah, I live in Riverside. Uh, I took the Greyhound bus here. And uh, and I'm like, oh, where are you staying? And he's like, well, about that. I actually rented out a U-Haul. And I bought a used air mattress. And I'm taking that used air mattress, putting it in the U-Haul, sleeping in that every night. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> That this that is fucking hustle. That is fucking like insane hustle that you have to respect. Somebody who clearly cares so much about about their craft or about being a streamer or whatever that they're going through, you know, basically homelessness for a weekend <laughs> uh, just to get it done. And I felt horrible because while he's saying all this in the back of my head. I had just put $100 into a slot machine, and I won $600. The only reason I put it into the slot machine is because Connor Eats Pants was late to lunch, and I was bored. And I'm listening to this kid sit there talking about how he's fucking <laughs> uh, renting out a U-Haul, taking a Greyhound bus, you know, doing the hustle grustle dream. And I'm like, bro, here... I just gave him two hundred dollars. I'm like, get like get a hotel room or something. Get a hotel room, and instantly I was like, okay, I I get. I get why, um, <laughs> you know, Mr. Beast does the giveaway shit. It, it you know it instantly felt good, but in reality it was I, I only it, I spun one slot. It was it's uh it's very unfair. But but that's a total aside. So anyway, shout out to that guy. Shout out to Riverside guy. Brought me up to my destination. I got my Crocs. Uh, but let's focus on the main story I want to talk about at TwitchCon. The main story of TwitchCon, uh, which was which was yesterday, which was basically last night, Saturday, because Friday was pretty uneventful. But Saturday was the big day, right? Saturday is the big day at TwitchCon. Um, it's 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 the big party at the end of the night that OTV is hosting. Uh, and all I had to do that day uh, was go to dinner with some friends and then and then go to the party. That was it. It's a, a pretty a pretty light day for me. By the way, this run's fucking killing it. Do you remember his name? No, I, I didn't ask his name. It's hard because, okay, here's what happens. When I meet somebody, I always do the same thing. They go, hi. And then, you know, they, they want to ask for a picture or something. And I say, hi, my name's Ludwig. And then they go, I know. But, like, that's cool, but you're supposed to say your name next in the interaction. But they don't do that. And so I don't, that happened. And then I, I just get stunlocked. I'm like, all right, I'll move, I'll move on. But like, if they don't, you know what I mean? I always do that. I go, hi, my name is Ludwig. I, I make a, a keen effort, even if they walk up to me very clearly, a fan, I will go, hi, my name is Ludwig. Um, but yeah, they don't. if they don't tell me their fucking name afterwards, it's just GG. Is this good? This is good. This is fine. This is great. This is great. We're doing great. We're doing great shit. We're doing shit that's fucking great and no one's ever seen before in this game. Wait, we're actually on a hot run. 
Wait, we're actually on a fucking run. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. I gotta think. We gotta think. Chad, we gotta think for a second. Because we're, we're damn close to watermelon territory. And I don't want to choke it. I fucking knew a persimmon would come up. Okay. So all I need... Is like one more peach. And then I'm kind of set. Shit, I should have done the other one. <gasps> what a blunder. Oh no, it actually worked out so well. Dude, this is going so well. No, I'll get to my story chat. Wait, pause, pause. Pause, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm so mother. I'm dishing uh, the C word. <laughs> yes, but then what? But then what are you going to do for me? This is a really good fucking run, man. This is a Count. really good run. This is a really good run. Uh, that word demonetizes a YouTube video, if you don't know. I also, I you know what? I don't say it because I, I leave it for the gays and the girls. Sorry. I just think they deserve something. Not necessarily like, you know... Like, my fame and fortune. But they can say that word. You know, I'll give them that. <laughs> no, 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 I was not going to say... I was not going to say not my rights. I wouldn't say that. I mean, my specific fame and fortune, not general fame and fortune. I'm, what I'm saying is th the gays and the girls deserve that word, but not necessarily to be paid as much. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, to the main story of our day... Which is me crushing it at Sweek again. Okay, I need you to stop giving me little fruit. And I need you to start giving me big fruit so I can get big for you. Wait, I, this is actually bad. This is deadass kind of bad. Wait, this is actually kind of bad though. Fuck, this is kind of bad. Wait, no, this is actually kind of bad. We got to do this. We got to pivot. Fuck. Fuck. Low battery's fine, I think. This shit lasts a while. Wait, this could be the run, though. We're already at 2,400. The goal is 3,300. Let's do this. Fuck. Shit. shit, 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 shit. Maybe if I do this, it'll push it a bit. There's too many small fruit. Pissing me off. If I combine here... Wait, wait. If I combine here, we're fine. I think I need to play around the persimmon, though. That was fucking classy, bro. 
That was classy as shit. Fuck, that was a really big mistake. Shit, that was a huge error. Uh-oh. Shit. 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 Dude, what happened to that run? I just had so many apples at the end. I couldn't do shit. I feel like my score should have been higher. I had a damn watermelon. You know what? The issue was... It's actually fine. Because I... What is this song? You know what? I spoke. I think I actually played better when I when I was doing my fucking story time. I did ass think I started playing worse when I when I was full focus on the game. Maybe I I gotta stop playing the game. You know. Start focusing on on other things. Like uh, like if I pretend I don't care. If I'm so bl like blase. You know. Maybe that's the secret. That's the secret. Uh, all right. Well, let's try it out. Um, let me double check. I don't think I have anything really for Friday. Yeah, I think we're good there. I just need to tell you all about Saturday. So, oh, this song's a little too. So Saturday's the final day for me of the event because I'm planning on leaving on Sunday. Uh, and the only real thing that I had planned was a dinner that I had scheduled before the event even started. And it was supposed to be with me, Cutie, Maya, Maya's boyfriend, Jerma, Connor, Connor Eats Pants, American, a, a whole big ass group. And I'm the one who had the responsibility of booking the restaurant. And if you are in a friend group, you can probably think of the person right now who has to do that role, AKA the fucking, the hard job of, of finding the place, getting everybody there at the right time, checking in, making sure that everyone has a good time. And I, and I happen to take on that role a lot. And, and it's worth saying at this point, that role fucking sucks. Nobody likes that fucking job, okay? If you have that person in your friend group and it's not you, give them some love. Because being the organizer blows. You don't get paid, all right? Half the time, you don't even get any fucking credit. You're just doing it because otherwise nothing will happen. Because everyone else's fucking lazy dumbasses aren't going to figure it out. So your lazy dumbass has to figure it out. Now, in this case, actually, the, the other participants weren't lazy dumbasses. Cutie was just very busy with the event, so the responsibility fell on me. She is a much better organizer than I, uh, but but her her talents could not be used for this uh, for this for this day. Too busy, too busy. So I had to pick the restaurant, uh, and the way I decided to pick the restaurant was by actually looking up a TikTok. And before you call me cringe, you guys know the TikTok I'm talking about. I'll do a quick impersonation. So this place is called Mama's Pizzeria. It's supposed to be really good. So I went ahead and got myself some. And we're going to taste it right now. That's a 10. Keith fucking Lee, baby. I love that guy. He's the food reviewer on TikTok. 
He's very straightforward, by the book. All he does is he finds a spot, he orders it to his house, he eats it, and he gives a review. And he has some sway. He's got pull, man. I've seen him take restaurants on the brink and make them huge establishments. And I've seen him, you know, not have the nicest review to a restaurant and have it tank their fucking score. He's got some sway. And I figured because of that, well, he's also probably got some pretty good reviews if people trust them so much. You know, he has to be saying something, right? Uh, and so I looked, there was a website that tracks all of Keith Lee's scores, and I wanted to find a 10, and I wanted to go to that restaurant. By the way, thank you for the 3,333, I don't know that currency, Suri La Suar, but I think it's a lot of money, thank you. And I happened to find this review that Keith dropped uh, of, of, uh, of a 10, uh, let's watch it right now. This is one of the most exciting desserts in Las Vegas. This is the corn from Chica inside Venetian. This mold is being filled with a cheesecake flan mixture and then piped full of a delicious strawberry sauce. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one through 10. I spent $176.93. First and foremost, this is inside the Venetian. It is a sit down restaurant, not a takeout restaurant. This is fancy. It's open grill, open kitchen, fancy. You gonna spend some money. But this is a night out kind of thing on a trip. I've always got questions about where to eat on a trip if you don't have a car when you come to Vegas. If this is good, this is one of them. I ordered at the bar because I got takeout. My server was Mike. He was really nice. He was amazing. He made me comfortable. He explained everything to me. He didn't really know the pronunciations of a lot of food, but he went and asked somebody. And that meant a lot to me. Again, it's a fancy sit-down restaurant, so I wasn't expecting it to be fast. It's I want you guys to keep in mind everything Keith says. It's a fancy sit-down restaurant. And it's got this fancy dessert. It took about 40 to about 45 minutes for me to get this food. I'm going to show you everything I got. We're going to try it and rate it 1 through 10. One order of Waggle empanadas, fire roasted salmon, Venezuelan braised short ribs. The thing I went there for, the corn. I don't want to tip it because it's very delicate. I spent $176.93. I went in there for corn. The corn was like $15. <laughs> we are not asking the question, is this food worth $176? It was pricey as shit. It was expensive. Because no takeout is worth that much. You pay for the experience when you go to restaurants and the food is fresh. So that's not the question. The question is, is the food good to me? Let's try it and find out. We're going to start with the appetizer. Now, I'm just going to skip ahead. Because the only thing I really cared about was the corn. This was beautifully, but I'm going to do it again. It is a strawberry flying cheesecake with a graham cracker chili crumble and raspberry tahini to look like street corn. This is literally what I went there for. That feeling is incredible. At first, I got nothing but the custard, and it was about to get a zero because I'm a texture person. But then I got the graham cracker and the cheesecake and the filling. It saved it. I'm so happy I kept going. That's a 9.6 out of 10. It's delicious. It's not the best cheesecake I've ever had, but the presentation, the innovativeness, the balance of the flavors, that's why it gets that high. 9.6 out of 10 at this fancy restaurant. So I booked this five days before I go to TwitchCon. All right. Bear in mind, I'm the fucking organizer. So it is my job to make sure everybody has a good time at this dinner. And everybody else is exhausted. Connor did Twitch Rivals. He streamed for four hours. Cutie and Maya were doing meet and greets all day. I sat on my fucking ass because I went to bed late and I woke up early and I took a nap and I fucking gambled and I made $1,000. That's what I did that day. So all I had to do was ensure the restaurant went well. So go to this restaurant. And it's, a, it's actually a fucking beautiful restaurant. So it's like really well decorated. Um, the, the way it's decorated, there's like a lot of tree stuff in it. So everyone in our group kept calling it like a, like a fancy rainforest cafe. Uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Yeah. This is, this is what the actual restaurant itself looked like. Super nice, super nice. The front area was kind of like a bar area, and they had the back area, which is like a table area. Our table was directly but like behind this bar, and it was like a really long table for a group event. Gorgeous restaurant, fucking gorgeous. And uh, so we're there, we're eating, and our reservation was for, for like 8.15, but right now, 
in Las Vegas, it is the worst time to be there. And it will continue to be the worst time to be there for the next month because of F1. If you don't know, F1 is having a race in Las Vegas. They've created a lot of scaffolding for it, seating for it. Uh, and they've also closed a lot of roads for it. So traffic has like 3 x And what is normally a 5-10 minute drive down the strip becomes a 20-30 minute drive down the strip. So our 8-15 reservations, we actually end up getting there around like 8-30. And because we were late, our table wasn't ready. So we don't actually sit down to eat until 9 p.m. 9 p.m. we finally get seated to eat at Chica. 9 p.m. on a Saturday. Why am I bringing this up? Why is this Why is this relevant? Why am I being so weird about that? Well, it's because when we got there, the music was kind of loud. So avamente, besame. Te quiero sentir tus labios, besando mi otra vez. Really loud. Loud enough that everyone at the table within a five-minute time period brought up how loud it was and how at our eight-person table, we could not hear people more than one seat away. Dead ass could not. Not like being exaggerated. We really could not. And I asked the waitress comes by. I'm like, hey, I hate to be this guy. Is there any way to turn down the music? And she's like, oh, I wish, but um, at 9 p.m., the DJ starts. And she points, and I look over. And there is a full-fledged fucking DJ at what I thought was a fancy dinner spot. And he's going crazy. Excuse me, it's actually not him. It was, a, it was another girl, but you get the idea. And she's going crazy on the DJ booth. Playing all the hits of, of, uh, of the Spanish hits of Latin America of today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And let me tell you, DJ, heat, fucking heat, dropping nothing but bangers. Okay? Banger after banger. We were just not ready. We were just not ready. We were, you know, the idea was a group of eight. We have a sit down. We all talk with each other. We were not ready for uh, Suavemente to be blaring in the ears. Coming to gasolina, never at gasolina. We were not ready for that. But it's like, whatever. You can still have a conversation with the person next to you. That that's enough. You know, we don't we don't need any more than that. Uh until 9 30 hit. And at 9 30. I don't have a video of this, but I know Cutie and Maya do, so I might try to grab it from them at some point. But, but at 9.30, this guy like walks out onto the dance floor that's in front of the DJ. It's a very small dance floor. And he walks out, and he has these big fucking drums. And he just goes, dun, dun, dun. And then from the bar, a bunch of women in scantily clad red dresses Walk on top of the bar. Flamenco style dressed women. And they start to bust out. An insane, I don't know what to call it. Nuclear celebration. Of, of Latin American culture. And they start playing some banger song. They bump up the music louder. All the women start dancing like that one emoji you're all spamming. And everybody at the restaurant gets those sizzler fireworks. They go, and then they sparkle out. They literally hand out like a hundred of them. And it's like fucking, boom, 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 boom. And, and, and DJ's going crazy. Conversation is dead. I'm, I'm grooving. Because here's the thing. I'm a liker in life. I'm an enjoyer of any circumstance I am in. Even if I don't expect it and it's not what I wanted. I'm like, fuck it, baby. We're here. Let's roll the punches. And I look over and I see Jerma. He's holding this. It's like an empty cup of water. He's like trying to flag down the waitress. Besame. And he's like. If you. Water. And we go through the dinner. 
And the food was really good, actually. Food was actually amazing. I got this lobster mac with a whole lobster in the mac. It was godlike. Absolutely godlike. You know, everybody rated their dish. I had them rate their dish. Everyone said eight and above, eight to ten for all their dishes. Uh, and then it's time to order the dessert, the thing that we were there for. So I order the dessert. And uh, and as I order the dessert, an hour had passed since that 9.30 firecracker dance section. At 10.30, they do it again. <laughs> It is an hourly celebration that they do at this restaurant on, bear in mind, only Fridays and Saturdays after 9 p.m. <laughs> and at this point, I'm looking over at Cutie and Maya, who are just unable to have a conversation, be even though they're sitting next to each other. And as the organizer of the group, I'm like, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. I cannot believe this has happened. You know? And no, no shame. To this restaurant. We're in Vegas. All right? We're, we're in Las fucking Vegas. You get away with whatever you want to get away with. You want to start having people dance on a fucking bar top and blare a DJ with, you know, four money sign dollar food. That's your prerogative. I just watched a TikTok review that said it's a fancy sit down restaurant. And I was like, fancy sit down it is. <laughs> Instead, we got fucking lit at a, at, a, at a half club, half restaurant. Dessert comes. Corn dessert. And uh, and we go around. And I'm just going to read everybody's review in order. Again, it was so loud that I couldn't actually ask them how the review was. So instead what I did is I had everybody write it down on a scale of 1 to 10 in my phone. And then I I, I got it at the end. So I I rated this dessert a, a, a like flat 8. It was a flat eight dessert. Okay. Germa next up. Presentation nine. Taste 8.1. All right. This is the same dessert that you saw Keith eat. It's, it looks like, really, it does look like corn. It's a very soft cheesecake with some sort of like fruit filling and then graham cracker on the side. So you, you get a bit of the crunch. But in my mind, the cheesecake was a little too soft. I prefer like a firmer cheesecake. It, was, it had the texture almost of whipped cream. And I don't think the flavor was so insane that that, in my mind, worst texture made up for, or was made up by the taste. So, Jerma, nine presentation, taste 8.1. Connor, five out of 10. That's Connor Sea Dog VA, who, by the way, could not have been more British the whole dinner. The moment they started bringing out the sparklers, Connor Dog went full Brit. He looked at me like this. He looked at me like 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 he could not wait to colonize this restaurant and, and take away all of its culture, put it in a museum, and make it a fucking beans and toast place. He rated it 5 out of 10. Maya rated it 6 out of 10. Cutie, 4 out of 10. Not impressed. Not impressed. And she's the baker of the group. Connor Eats Pants rated it a 12 out of 10. He did not try it, though, so take it with a grain of salt. And then Mai's boyfriend rated it a 7.3 out of 10. All in all, I don't know if it was the best spot for us. However, if you want to get fucking lit, listen to Suavemente and Gasolina, and you want to also eat food that's expensive but tastes pretty good, then head over to Chica. That's my Chica review of the day. That's my Chica review of the day. Head over to Chica. And after that, uh, because the dinner took so long, um, like it was almost a two and a half hour dinner, it was time to go to the big party of TwitchCon. Because most people actually don't go to TwitchCon. And when I say people, I mean specifically creators. They don't go to TwitchCon to go to the event. They most of the time go to TwitchCon to go to the after parties. Right? That is the goal. They want to go to the after parties. They want to meet people, yada, yada, yada. And Saturday night was the big night of the day for parties. Because offline TV was hosting a party with Dolce & Gabbana and Razor. Big brands. Dolce & Gabbana and Razor bought out an entire club. And only TwitchCon attendees were going. And I think offline TV were like, you know, the faces of it. And they were tasked with inviting, you know, VIPs, super VIPs, whatever. 
so we get up, we get ready, we head over to to the uh, the uh, the party. I can't do fruit right now. No fruit right now because I have to show you guys a picture in a second. We ho we head over to the party. This is right after the dinner. All right, I have a couple Corona extras in me at this point because I ordered a Corona there. Um, let me yap for a bit. I'm speaking Japanese, all right? I'm pretty damn good at it. Let me get through it. Uh, and we go to this party. And very conveniently, the only reason that I was kind of happy to go to this party in this club, because I am not a club guy. The club experience, to me, is relatively boring. As a as If you are a regular club goer, all you do is you stand in the middle of this like bullpen. Somebody blares music that like you know does transition pretty smoothly. That's like a little bit too loud that you probably should be wearing earplugs for. And then you have to buy really overpriced drinks that you're probably gonna spill most of while standing in the club. And occasionally they blast cold air on you that makes a noise that sounds what like your ear uh, drums getting blown out. <laughs> However, it was a little better, a little better here because everyone who was at a table, if you ever go to a club, you'll notice there are tables everywhere, right? There are tables everywhere. Usually it's it's like, uh, you know, some fucking uh, rich, ugly dude in a bunch of hot girls at a table with alcohol that is way too expensive and people with big flashing lights walking all around them, right? At, at all these tables. Here, however, every table was like a different faction of Twitch. <laughs> so I'd go to a table and it'd be like, boom, Valorant table. Boom, Minecraft table. Boom, you know, uh, variety streamer table. And so it's kind of fun to walk from table to table because they, you know, I would, I would know at least one person at the table. They would give me a free drink. I would go to my next table. I would get another free drink, yada, 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 so on and so forth. Uh, and I had the privilege of being at the coolest table at this specific evening because I got like a super VIP wristband from, from Broden, God bless Broden, that allowed me, this is the, uh, the nightclub we were in, Zook, that allowed me to be behind the DJ, which is like, I think the coolest spot in a club because you're next to the person who's actually working <laughs> and everybody else is dancing to the person that's working, but you're on the same level as them. Whoa. So we were right here, right? This is where the DJ would be, right here. We were right over here. And we get there, and, and at the start, although this is like like the most, you know, biggest party of the night, uh, it's dead. It, it like it is dead as fuck. There are not many people in there because there was such there was such a huge line outside. I don't know how to fucking tell you. There was a line of maybe 500 people outside that went way out the door. Because everybody in TwitchCon heard about this party, wanted to get into it. And and outside was this clout Olympics game. It, it was embarrassing. It was basically a bunch of people looking at the people who had already gotten in. And all the bouncers. And poking their head out. And be like, do you know me? I stream. Do you know me? I stream. And like trying to, to you know, cling on to like the one connection they might have. We did Twitch Rivals three years ago. You don't remember me? <laughs> it, it, it was cringe. And I was right fucking in there. Broden! Broden! YouTube guy! You not in this car! Yeah! Not yeah! Not in this car! 6-3, the license thing! Yes! Yes! Cause, alright, I'm not above being fucking cringe. To get into the goddamn club. I made that shit happen. And let me tell you. It fucking worked. <laughs> so we got in. A little bit early. And I notice. As opposed to the club the night before. Because they, they had a club the night before. I think Diplo played at it. A lot of streamers were there. Everyone had a table. Bottles were flowing at the table. At this club. The table that we were at. Had no alcohol. It had orange juice. And it had uh, cranberry juice and water. 
And I waited for 30 minutes. And all that we had was orange juice, cranberry juice, and water. And there was like a bar, but the bar was like packed. There was a huge line. You only get one drink. And I ask around. And I'm like, are they going to bring alcohol? And eventually somebody's like, oh, well, someone has to buy it. And they looked at me like this. <laughs> Somebody has to buy it. Somebody. Okay. So I asked for the waitress. She comes over. And waitresses at clubs. And I'm saying this in a very nice way. They're very good at their job. They're fucking snakes. <laughs> they are damn good at their job. Okay? Damn good at their job. The bottle service, the waitresses, they come up. She comes up and she's like, ah, here you go. Oh, uh, hi, what's your name? I'm like, Ludwig. She's like, ha that's funny. I'm like, what? why? She's like, can I call you Lou? I'm like, no, it's Ludwig. It's like, Ludwig, great name. Great name. I'm wearing like, like uh, Mater Crocs. I, I look like shit. I haven't changed my clothes in two days. I smell like cologne and piss. She's like, great shoes. I'm like, yeah, let's get on with it. And she's like, all right, Lou, let's take a look at the menu. <laughs> and she starts off, she's like, this is our Dom Perignon selection. And instantly, right under it, Dom Perignon, expensive champagne, $10,000. She goes through five different ten dollars to $30,000 items on the list. And all I can muster out is like, uh, well, I don't want champagne. <laughs> We're good on champagne. She's like, all right, so yeah, of course, of course. Flips it. And all I want is a big bottle of vodka. Give me big bottle of vodka so we can all take shots of big bottle of vodka and we can have fun, get drunk quicker, and then, and then move on with our night. Close the page. I look at it. There's two vodka options. Option number one, vodka. It was Tito's. Tito's bottle. Option two, Tito's Magnum. Option one, seven fifty. Option two, fifteen hundred. I'm like, okay. I don't know what the Magnum thing is. I'll just pay seven fifty and I'll get one bottle. That's enough. So I'm like, oh, I'll just get the uh, the Tito's. And she goes, <sighs> sold out. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, we only have the Magnum. I was like, what do you? <laughs> What do you mean? He's like, yeah, you know, it is, it is what it is. Only got the Magnum. I'm like, all right, I, I'll do the Magnum. Come to find out, the Magnum, in part, you're paying for a larger size bottle. True. But you're also paying for them to, like, bring out the bottle with a bunch of sparkly fireworks. Which I didn't care to have. That was not a big part of my agenda on the night. I was not like, oh, uh, number one, check, must hang out with people I haven't seen in a while. Number two, must get drunk. Number three, I need sparkles. <laughs> I need sparkly sparkles. If I don't have sparkly sparkles, I won't have a good time. But I'm like, whatever. Because when she comes out with the bottle, everyone who's at the table is instantly pumped. Because, again, although there was a bar, the bar had a huge line, and... You know, the drinks were kind of watered down or whatever. And it's much easier and more fun to take a shot with a big group of 20 than it is have. One second.
That was Swift whining. He was whining. He has separation anxiety because Cutie's not here yet. It's okay, buddy. He doesn't like me as much. Come here. Come here. I'm worried he won't stay, and then I'll get sad again. I don't know how to make him stay. Do you see him? No, he doesn't eat when he's anxious. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Move chat. Can do this. All right, you guys are on puppy watch. Puppy watch. That's the puppy to watch. There's also a cat. Oh, and a new cat. Hello, Ders. Everyone has come into the room. Coots is there. Ders is there. Swift is there. And I'm here. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good to get back to it. Where were we? I actually don't remember. Where were we? Oh! Oh! Right. Oh. Jeez. Okay. He didn't like. Wait. It's okay, sir. It's okay. We're good. We're good. Come here. Come on. Come here. <sighs> All right. Hello. Hello. I'm testing. I'm testing one, two, three. <laughs> I. Swift, come. Swift, come here. <laughs> he hates when I stream. Swift, come here. Swift, come on. Swift, come. Swift, come. Come on, Swift, come here. Oh, God. All right. We might have to just be a little quieter. Okay? 
so we don't scare the dog. I don't think I could keep Swift in the lab for the whole story. All right, hello? Okay, so. I'm basically testing the dog belief. I, dude, I didn't even start. I didn't even start. Are we being fucking for... Okay, fine, fine. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let the... It's not, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Uh, I can't hold it. No. The the thing is, I, I Swift doesn't like how I talk. Swift hates my voice. Can you do she streams very chill, right? She's like, she's like, hey chat. How are you doing, chat? When I talk, I'm like, today I'm going to drink a shot of alcohol. And he hates that. He doesn't like when I talk. Don't say me too, me too, me too. Where were we? Okay. So, I buy this 700 and... Let me, I guess, move this back over. We had a quick dog inter intermission. I buy this $1,000... I, I buy this $1,500 bottle of alcohol. Uh, we do a, a big group of shots. Uh, and at this point in the night, Cutie wanted to leave, right? Cutie wanted to leave. She wanted to, uh, to go back because she had a busy day the next day and she doesn't really like clubs. I was like... Yeah, that's fine. It's chill. No worries. Uh, and so as I walk her out, we walk through the back room. <laughs> and I shit you not, I see a storage room filled with alcohol. Filled with alcohol. Including the bottle of alcohol that she said was sold out. Now, I'm not exactly, I could be wrong here. I'm not a fucking alcohol expert. I don't work the bar. I'm not a bar back. But I looked at that and I'm like, that I'm pretty sure is a $750 version that I got to charge $1,500. Whatever. I go back. We hang out for a bit. And then as I'm here at this party, the main thing that I wanted to see and the main reason I stuck through it is one of, one of the artists that I like a lot, who you guys might know because I play him on stream sometimes, Maddion was playing. Maddion was playing at this concert or at this club. Uh, but if you know anything about club DJs, they don't show up till the fucking crack ass of dawn. So Maddion was scheduled to get there at midnight. The party didn't actually start until midnight and he didn't get on until like 1.30 or something. So I was going to have to stick out a little bit if I wanted to, you know, hear a little bit of... If I want to hear shelter or some shit. Uh, so that was the goal. The goal is stay in this club long enough to hear Maddie on set because I like Maddie on and, and then call it a night. Um, and while we're waiting, right, we're taking shots, we're chatting, I'm chatting with different people. I, I, uh, I have an idea <laughs> because at our table, this is an OTV party happens to be a one Lily Pichu. And if you guys know anything about me and my interactions with Lily Pichu on stream, I I I happen to enjoy occasionally bullying Lily Pichu. It is easy, right? It's like, you know, trick-or-treating in a rich neighborhood. You're going to be walking away happy. And one thing that, that Lily has a crippling problem, a crippling problem Lily has, is she's very anxious. Very anxious. Doesn't love, you know, big public displays and fanfare and performances. 
And so I thought, how fun would it be if I got one of those huge fucking signs with all the bright lights and, and all the fucking people walking around it? And it said, happy birthday, Lily Pichu. And so an idea formed. And with the help of, of Peter, we were trying to think, okay, what, if we were to do this, what, what should we put on the sign? If we had like a happy birthday sign and then a big light up sign. And the idea we came up with that we wanted was pretty succinct. Let me know what you think. Lily Pichu is a bitch. <laughs> was Peter's idea. It was Peter's idea. It was Peter's idea. I'm throwing him another bus. It was Peter Park's idea. But I was like, son of a bitch, you might be on to something. I tell the waitress, instantly she's like, ah, don't love it. But I'll come up with something that will work. I'm like, all right. And she's like, would you like a bottle of alcohol with this? I'm like, sure. She's like, somebody in your group mentioned tequila. I'm like, that's great. And she's like, what about 1943 Don Julio's tequila? I'm like, I don't know what that means. She's like, don't worry about it. It'll be great. I go, sure. I just want the birthday thing. Can I get the birthday thing? She goes, of course. She goes out. 10 minutes later, she comes back. I'm hanging out with Lily for like eight of those 10 minutes. I like have my eye on her. She's there. I look away for like a second. All right. I don't even know what I did. Sneezed. I turn around. Lily is gone. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and out come, as she is gone, the birthday crew. Yeah. <laughs> The fucking the fireworks flying off the light up sign. <laughs> Happy birthday too! And I'm like, wait, wait, wait! And 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 they hide the signs. I'm like, she's not here yet. And they're like, okay. Can we open the bottle of alcohol? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. It takes Lily so long to get back. Forty minutes pass. That they finished the entire bottle of alcohol for the supposed birthday shots that we needed to do. So the waitress comes back over. She's like, ah, we're out of alcohol. Lily's back at this point. She's like, do you want another bottle of alcohol to like, you know, celebrate with? And I, I went from a guy who's supposed to spend money on one bottle to my third fucking bottle. I'm like, fine, fine. Yes, please. Can I do the Tito's regular? She's like, Magnum only. I'm like, right, of course. I forgot Magnum only. Yes, the Magnum then. She's like, great, of course. I'll be right out. And in a way, it was all worth it. Because Lily comes up to me. I'm standing on top of, uh, of the bench right here. I'll show you a little picture. So this is the DJ. This is where they perform. Uh, this is our table over here. And I'm standing on this red couch. And I'm just... <laughs> And Lily comes up to me and she goes, hey, why is everybody saying it's my birthday? <laughs> and I'm like, I, I got no clue. She's like, okay, yeah, I don't know. Everyone's saying it's my birthday. And that's when I say, do it. And this happens. At this point, it's worth noting, if it's not clear by now, it's not her fucking birthday. Her birthday's like in a couple months or some shit. I don't know. She's turning 43 or something. But it was a joyous occasion watching her have to deal with this and then watching her have to talk to every single person in that group who would say happy birthday and she would have to go, it's not my birthday. <laughs> over and over and over again. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, there was another video on Instagram. I don't think I don't think you can pull it up unless uh unless you're logged in, right? There's a pretty good POV. Fuck, I got to log in. Hold up, maybe I can just log in. 
Wait, wait, pause champ, pause champ, because I actually kind of watch this. Yeah, there's a lot of stories from different creators. I think Ted was there, but I, Jamie had the best point of view. All right, pause. They're sending me a code to my phone. Code received. Happy birthday, Adil. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> um and so that was my big that was my big thing and then fucking maddie on comes out whom i love dearly and starts playing and the night is going phenomenally I, everything is going how i want it to and i start to do a round right because one of the things that i like to do if i'm at a club is i like to go to every table to meet people that i wouldn't normally get to meet because well i live in la and they might not but everyone is there for TwitchCon, so it's really easy to just go up and be like, oh, hello, you know, person I have not seen before. You know, like, I, I, got to, I, I got to meet Summit 1G more times than I ever have. I saw fucking Tyler 1 this weekend, all right? Who, by the way, every time we talk in person is the sweetest human in the world. And then every single time he talks about me online, speaks with the tongue of the devil. <laughs> Big Tonka T, I'm like, Big Tonka T, love the chess man. Love the chess man, you're a legend. He's like, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. He's like such a sweetie. He's like, it's so fun, dude. Yeah, it's a great time. And if I go to his chat and I'm, I say the same exact sentence, he'll be like, shut the fuck up, pussy. Little bitch. You might be the worst fucking player I have. You don't have the right to speak in. You don't have the right to speak in my chat, little, li small little boy. Trash ass. Never talk to me again. And that's, and there's a juxtaposition there, but I like that. So I go around, do the rounds is basically trying to talk to every person that I don't normally get to talk to, have these sort of experiences. And this is part of the story where I will have to omit some information. Some information will be omitted. But one of the rounds I would hit a table where every time I would walk up to this person, they would respond with this. And this Nintendo Joy-Con was not actually a Nintendo Joy-Con. It is a euphemism for a vape pen. Mysterious vape pen, you know, number 73. And every time, I, I, I would be like, dutifully, like, okay. Hand back the vape pen. But throughout the course of the night, I had run into them so many times, we didn't even exchange words. It was like an expectation that if I were to pass them like a Pokemon trainer, I enacted a cutscene in which the result would need to be me hitting the vape pen. Literally, I would just walk, be like, and they'd be like, you must do your duty. And I'd be like, son of a bitch. But I have to say, this unnamed person's pen had some fucking hands. Yeah, okay, just say no kids. Yeah, that is the correct answer. But I didn't do that, okay? I'm still young. I'm in my mid-20s. I am peak susceptible to peer pressure age. And so it hit me like a goddamn bus. It hit me, it hit me like a bus. And I say that because then the waitress came back. And at this point, Madion has performed, you know, I, I've had a good night. I want to cash out. I want to cash out my check. I want to close out my card, right? This is a picture on Hassan's story right now. Baller at Ludwig Ogren. This is the, uh, the bartender. This is me trying to close out the books. As I'm doing it, and this is why I know she's fucking good at her job and she probably gets a shit ton of money. I'm looking at this check and she's explaining it all to me 
and I am fucking zonked out of my mind. I barely understand a word that is happening, and I'm trying so damn hard. I remember even now being in that moment, like trying so hard to deconstruct the receipt like it's a word problem in the fifth grade. And Timmy's driving in a car going east, going 70 miles per hour. And Betty's in a car going west, going 60 miles an hour. And it's a three-mile road. At what point do they meet down the road? That's what it felt like. And she's sitting there and she's like, so here's the receipt. As you can see, there's a 15% gratuity included. But there's an additional place where you could leave a tip for me and for Luke. And she points at this guy. And there's this big-ass fucking dude in front of me I've never seen until that point in the night. And he looks at me. He's like... And I'm like, that's Luke? Okay. I feel like I've already tipped. But I'll throw in a light hundred. A light hundred dollar tip. You know, just for you and Luke to share. I've already done a 15% gratuity. This is, you know. So I'm looking through. And, uh, and I see the total. The total is $9,880. The birthday celebration was 5,000. Dude, $5,000. Oh my god. I had no clue. I didn't look like at a, I didn't look at a birthday menu of costs. I just wanted to prank my friend Lily Pichu cuz I thought that was funny. I didn't think about the repercussions of my consequence of of of, of my actions. Uh-oh, it's the consequences of my own actions. And I'm looking at them. I'm looking at this fucking number, and I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. All right, I just want to put $100 on. But because I have seen the dark ends of, of the euphemism Nintendo Joy-Con, I put $100 in the tip section. But in the total, I couldn't do the math. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm not fucking with you. I sat there. It was 9000 I remember it, $880.68. And I was doing it. I was like, 100 I was like, okay, 68 Great. That's the, that's, that's the sense. And I'm, I'm like sweating here. I'm like, dot. And this is the picture of me. I'm like, dot. Great. Uh, zero, that stays the same. Uh, eight, you can keep that. Uh, and then it would be a nine. And then, uh, then you, oh, and then you carry the one. And I put down 10900 Eighty-eight dollars, aka an eleven hundred dollar tip. And she's like, "Great, sign here, initial here." And the process for this is not like a restaurant, because you do not fill out the receipt once; you fill it out twice. And it was only on my second receipt that I'm like, "Hold up, I have too many damn zeros." But not nearly enough hundreds to make up that amount of zeros. I have fucked up somewhere. And so on the second one, I somehow do the math worse. I put $100 tip. The number in the total, I think, was less than the amount without the tip. And at this point, she has recognized that I am fucked up. And she's like, ha, no worries. Uh, cross it out and write it again. I fuck it up a third time. She's like, I have to get a new receipt. I'll be right back. She goes out, gets a new receipt. I'm, I'm like chugging water. I'm like, God, fuck, come on, come on. We got this, baby. Tighten it up, tighten up. Game day, game day. She comes back. This is where Hassan snaps a pick. She comes back with a flashlight this time. And she has like on her phone, like a calculator. And she's like, this is the total. I'm like, $100 tip? She's like, yes, $100 tip is nice. That's very generous. Thank you. And it's like, oh, it's $9,980. Cool. And I finally pay. I close it out. It's all good. Uh, and and uh, and I didn't I didn't get scammed out of a thousand. I only got scammed out of ten thousand dollars at this club. And everyone who I've told this story to is like, why did you buy drinks? Why did you even do that? And the answer is because if I didn't, there would be no drinks and it would be a worse time. And I, I, I feel, for one, I have, uh, thankfully to YouTube and you guys, enough money to ball out $10,000 and it not fucking affect me. But two, a deep desire to act as lube in social situations so that everyone's having a better time and jiving more. 
And if you're at a club at a table, what makes people drive a lot more is a giant bottle of alcohol. It's just a fact. All right. It's not saying it's necessary to buy bottles, but someone had to stand up, be that person. So although I am not happy that it cost 10,000, I was hoping to buy one bottle and then push it on to somebody else. I, it, it's okay. It generally not the worst thing to happen in the world. Uh, but after that, after that, at this point, I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm scammed. I run into somebody who, who I have to tell you guys about because I've been keeping a secret from you all for almost two years now. I've been keeping a secret from you all for almost two years that honestly, I thought I might never tell you. And I don't really like keeping secret from you guys. I'm being real. I really actually don't. It's not something I like doing. I like usually being like forefront, upfront, whatever the word is. But for the past 18 months, I've been working on a secret project. You see, I made a video almost two years ago now. It's about 18 months ago called I Made a Secret YouTube ch uh, channel to prove it's not luck. And in it, it's an experiment where I make a YouTube channel. I try to get views on the YouTube channel to see if my skills and knowledge that I've accrued over the years could help me become a YouTuber without my pre-existing success. Now, the video, I think, is very entertaining. It's a very good video. Uh, but it has its flaws in, in purely an experimental, objective sense, all right, which has been critiqued by many people. Uh, fucking Dark Viper made a, 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 a hell of a lot of videos about it. Uh, and although the video got some views, it wasn't the best experiment, yada yada, whatever, a lot of people are mad that I hired people, and so I came up with a second idea. Because just a little bit after I had released that video, uh, is success on a little bit after I released that video, I saw this video on my subreddit, and it was from a creator called Haylight. And it said, I stream like Ludwig for 30 days. This is Ludwig. Boys! And this is me one year ago. And this is me now. And this video that Haylight made was basically trying to take every piece of advice I'd given to become a better streamer. Right? That was the goal that Haylight had. And I thought the video was actually pretty good. I thought a lot of effort went into it. I thought it was pretty well edited. And it clearly seemed like this person cared about making content, and I had this idea. What if I try this experiment again? Okay, let's let's test it. The, the hypothesis is that most of the success on YouTube is based off skill, not luck. We can prove that by not using me and my voice and my editing skills, but by me taking on an apprentice and teaching them everything I know so that they become a successful YouTuber, and then I can say, okay, well, hey, you don't have to look at me or say it's my gimmicky stuff. All you can do is look at them. And the reason I've kept it a secret is because if I were to talk about it, well, then people would be like, oh, it doesn't count. It's because you shouted this person out. Even though, I mean, we know as a fact, shouting people out almost never fucking amounts to anything. Um, I try to keep it as objective as possible. Now, you might notice that I'm not revealing this in some grand YouTube video fashion. I'm, re I'm, re I'm releasing this, revealing this somewhat casually here on stream together, right? We're not, we're not fucking, we don't, I don't have like a PowerPoint presentation for you. And it's because 18 months ago, when I started talking to this guy, March of 2022, that's how long ago it happened. Um, no, it's not because he's not successful. He's very successful. We'll get into that in a second. Um, we had a bunch of calls. I kept up. I checked up. I'd look over thumbnails. I tell him ideas that were bad. I tell him like overarching, like, like philosophies that I have on like, hey, pay people what they want to be paid because I think long-term, it'll create loyalty and like someone that is super invaluable. Or like, uh, if somebody steals an idea or a type of content you have, that's a good thing. Don't be upset about that. Uh, it means you're doing the right thing and they are only ever imitating you, which means you are their ceiling and your ceiling is however high you want to go. So if you spend so much time being worried about like other people below you stealing from you, you're not focused enough on doing the shit that they'll never think of doing, you know? And we, and we ran into all these situations, and, and, and he got pretty fucking successful. In fact, I think he's a damn good creator. I'm actually going to show you one of his videos right now uh, that I think is that's really good. He's, he's a mainly a shorts creator. The most famous burger. Maybe I'll increase this a little bit. 
This is the most famous burger in the world. But what makes it famous has been kept secret for almost 100 years. The Mac Sauce. And for the last month, I've been trying to replicate it. But whenever I make one of the hundreds of recipes online, it never quite tastes like Ronnie's sauce. Well, today's different. I finally found the real recipe. Well, I think I did. See, in 2022, an ex-McDonald's chef spilled the truth about the sauce. But the secret behind the recipe was so ridiculous, it felt like he was lying. See, every other recipe on the internet had one thing in common. Ketchup. They claim it gives the Mac sauce its sweet and tangy taste, but instead of using ketchup, which every other recipe had, Mike used mustard and vinegar, which sounds disgusting, but I have to try it. This is... So that's Haylight. You know, clearly super fucking polish editing. Uh, good script, really well shot, honestly, too. Uh, he makes a few shorts, um, you know, he, he uploads somewhat sporadically, but he is now a, a full-time creator. Like, he does not have another job. When I first met him, he, he was not making enough to go full-time, uh, but he's now a full-time creator. Like, that's, that's all he does. Um, but I never felt, and I, and I'll say here, I decided at a certain point, I can't make this video. Like, I cannot make a video that is, YouTube is skill, not luck. Here's how I proved it. I took this apprentice, Haylight. I took him from somebody who was not a full-time creator to a full-time creator who can make shit like this. Because it felt so selfish and wrong. Because although, yes, I tried to give any advice I could, most of the things that I think I make up, and I'm confident about them because I'd rather be confident and wrong than insecure and right. And maybe it helped. But it felt like I was taking away his success and applying it to me when at the end of the day, it's his success. And I think it's totally possible within the same time frame, faster even, possible, he, he could have done the same shit. I couldn't, you know, I could, I could never make that video. So I decided not to do it. And I was still like very proactive. I would reach out to Haylight uh, whenever I could, um, understanding that I'm not the best at replying to DMs to help out, but purely just as a friend. Not as like, hey, I'm doing this for content. Let's fucking record our session. It's like, dude, how's it going? Like, what are you up to? You know, and, and he is an absolute god at sponsored content. He has videos, by the way, that have more views than my most viewed video. This video has 61 million views. It's an ad. My most viewed video is like 40 mil. I've been doing this for five years. I'm supposed to be the goddamn master. He's the goddamn apprentice. I'm even talking about my shorts. I've released shorts. None of them gotten that many views. It was a merch drop short. Um, uh, and so anyway, this is the first time I ever got to meet him in person. Right? So I, I, I got to meet him in person. And we talked for, I don't know. It must have been like half hour, an hour. Like I just ran into him. At this club, I'm fucked up. I've gotten scammed. And I see him. And uh, it, I, I, uh, it was probably like one of the, uh, how do I phrase it? Meeting Haylight was probably one of the greater moments in my streaming career that I've ever had. Not because I feel like I have taken this creator and making him who he is. But he was just, he was such a sweet person and he's such a good dude and he was so uh, grateful in ways that I don't at this moment even still feel deserving of. But like he went into like a very deep story about how, how much he credited me for his success, which was very nice. And even told me at one point, I don't know if you guys remember, I ran Ludwig Mondays featuring Fortnite. It was a weekly Fortnite event I did for a little bit. And I did a small creator one. And I reached out to Haylight to invite him. Not to try to boost him to like see if he could get fucking big off my tournament. But because I knew he liked Fortnite and there was a prize pool. And I needed 100 people to come. So I wanted to invite a friend of mine. And he did really well in that tournament. I think he was the second best player there. This is the tournament, if you remember, that we had a pro. And there was a bit of drama that we had to kick them out. Haylight ended up winning $4,000. I didn't know at the time. But apparently, he told me last night that that $4,000 was the difference between him continuing 
content creation and quitting because he was so dead broke from full-time content creation at that point that he wasn't able to pay editors and continue to do the job. But because I serendipitously ran a Fortnite tournament sponsored by Epic, invited him, and he won, he had enough money to keep it going. And now makes pretty good money. And it was really cool to hear his thought process because it, it felt like a lot of the things that I believe. Because for a while, you know, like, hey, like, he's very good at, like, uh, short form stuff. And he was, he was like, you know, he had like a couple hundred thousand followers on TikTok when, uh, when I had first found him. I think he's up to like one point. He's at, yeah, he's at one million now on TikTok. Um, but the TikToks he were doing, I don't, I don't think it was stuff like he was necessarily like proud of at the time. It was stuff that like he thought would work. I think I've talked about this before. He's the guy who came up with the idea of creating a TikTok and then going live on TikTok Live, and the TikTok promotes your TikTok Live. It's something that Nadia did a lot, and he's the one who invented that shit. But then hearing him last night. He was like, yeah, man, I actually just want to make dope shit now. And he makes dope shit. And I thought that was so fucking cool. I definitely showed it in a mogul mail once. Because uh, I wanted to credit him. Because he's genuinely the person who, who created that. Um, but anyway. Uh, we chatted. And... And... I must have cried like three different occasions just talking to this guy because like I realized in that moment, you know, he was like so appreciative, but I was like, dude, you are not like, you are not some protege or apprentice to me anymore. Like you are totally, and, and I can say confidently like my equal as a creator, he's not my son. I'm not his father. You are my equal. Like you have come up so far. You do such dope shit. You've gone full time, which is such a hard thing to do. And like, there's so much luck in there. And I, and I always say that YouTube is skill, not luck, or at least it's a premise of the video that I made. It's inaccurate to say that that is clickbait. That is getting views. The accuracy is that you need the skill for when luck strikes. And that skill is very hard to come by and people underestimate it. And oftentimes when the luck hits, they're not ready. But Haylight is somebody who's just always been ready, and he fucking cares a lot, and anyway, I just really fuck with this guy, uh, and, and that was, like, one of the greatest moments I've had as a creator to, like, see somebody who I've hung out with and chatted with for a while, uh, and to see where they are now, uh, it's cool, and to see him in the real world, uh, and so I left the club right after talking to him, Cause I'm like, I saw Maddie on, I got scammed out of 10 K I've rode my high by meeting this guy. And I walked out and I realized as I'm leaving the club, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I forgot my key, my key to the hotel room. I was in the hotel. Cutie's asleep. I got to go get a new key. So I go to the front desk. I'm just soaking in the night. I feel great. You know, I'm still buzzing and I'm sitting there my hands on the desk and they're, they're getting my key. And then, like, it's two of them. They're talking to each other, and the silence forms. And the lady behind the counter goes, uh, does that say little cum boy? And I immediately crash down to earth, and I snap out of this high that I'm feeling. And it zooms in. I'm like, what'd you just say? She said, on your wrist, does that say And so I guess the conclusion and the moral of this story is that it feels great when the online world goes to IRL, but let's leave the TTS little comboy out of it. And next time I do a meet and greet. Please, no bracelets that say that or call me a pussy or say anything of the sorts. Uh, and that was that was the TwitchCon, the TwitchCon extravaganza.
That was that was the TwitchCon. Basically all the TwitchCon shit. How'd I get out of that conversation? I said, uh, I said, and I quote, <laughs> yeah, and this one says pussy. <laughs> and then she gave me my key and I walked away. Oh. Anyway, let's play some damn Suica game. I'm going to beat this in an hour. <laughs> Time to get big for you all. It was fun, though. It, it's really fun seeing other creators. Oh! I forgot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save one story for the yard. I'm going to save one story for the yard. I've left out most of my gambling excursions. But I'll tell them on the yard. Dubbing, I like when you get big for me, man. Dubbing. Dude, no. Come on. What did I just say? What did I just say? We can't be getting big for each other anymore. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. I know it's low battery. I'm going to keep it that way. Hey, Lud. What do you think you will be doing when you're 60? I think you'll either live off-grid on a self-sustaining farm or be hosting Dancing with the Stars. No in-between. Uh... I think... Ideally, I, um... I own and operate a bakery. I think that'd be really cool. Stop with the bakery? I'm not, but I'm not being facetious. I really want to do it. I just really want to do it. Stop so crying, little baby. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm literally not crying right now. You're the one making crying noises. Everyone hears it. This is so inappropriate. Just kidding, lot. Thanks for restocking the merch. It's your best drop, in my opinion. Even better than chess boxing. Oh, by the way, have you guys gotten the new merch drop? It is only available for a few more days. If you want the merch, it's available for just a few more days. And then it's going away forever, on God, forever, until we both perish. Okay, let me explain my bakery rationale. I want to open a bakery because I bread Yo, is my favorite food. When that D and D P drop it. What, bread is my favorite food, bar none. I love bread. I think bread in America is generally bad. I think the most value I can have that makes me feel good is value that I apply to my local community, like uh, the value uh, of like uh, like think of like the value of like a barber, you know. Like, it is unequivocally, like, some of the highest value any human can have in a, a local community. As a streamer, I'm not providing that much value to my local community. But a, a baker would. So if I made really good-ass bread as a baker for the community that I live in, it would really uh, uplift that community. It would make me a valuable member of that community. And I would feel good doing it. And I would get to eat dope-ass bread. 
I don't know how this plan isn't genius. Fuck. Hey, what? After a week of failing to beat the game with the same strategy one would think you would try to switch it up? Do you know the definition of insanity? Are you locked in a rubber room with You literally rats? bombed a hospital! Rats, 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 Obama. rats, 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 rats. If my greatest crime is not improving the strategy of my gameplay, I feel like it's not that bad. Hey lot, I'm sick as shit today. Mm, sorry. Feeling like death? Thank you for streaming so I have something to entertain me. Feeling Question sick for you, in among Zero Zane Grand Finals who you rooting for? I know Zane is on your team but that Mang Zero love runs deep. I love Mango deeply, but I root for Zane. I only root for Mango once a year. And I'm not saying like, oh it's at this tournament I root for Mango. I mean literally one, like I need Mango to win one tournament a year. For melee to feel like melee. So as long as Mango gets one, it's fine. What the fuck was that? I spent thousands trying to find a manager to send my movie scripts. Finally got a good one that was gonna rep me, but the writer strike happened. Hmm. She said, we have to wait till it's over. She quit three days before it ended. Big sad. Lol. That is sad. That is sad, and it sounds like mostly out of your control. But that's good then. It means you made good decisions, you just got a bit fucked. Better to make a good decision and get fucked than make a bad decision and get fucked. You know? Because it means you're li more likely to make another good decision. So just make another good decision, forehead. No, none of the merch is sold out. It's all available right now for pre-order. Literally none of it's sold out. Fuck. Do a lot, cheat, and have Connor beat his own school off camp. Wait, wait, wait. Let me be smart. Let me be smart. Let me be smart. If I do this, I can bust it out. Now I need a strawberry. Fuck yeah. I ran a half marathon a few days ago, and the whole time I had the music from the watermelon game in my head from your pre Twitch con stream. Please turn off the game audio for the love of God. The only thing I have to say to that is I could too run a marathon if I wanted. I would simply start running and I wouldn't stop running until the end of the marathon. Thank you for your donation. Ludwig.gg for the merch. Ludwig.gg You bitch, what? Oh my god. I I think every run today I've gotten a melon. Literally every run today I've gotten a melon. How do you win this game? You beat Connor's dumbass high score, which is really high and dumb.
Dude, I was at the club. This is after I hit the cursed uh, vape. And who do I run into? But Dan fucking Clancy. <laughs> I'm I'm having to have a full on conversation with Dan Clancy mid nightmare vape. Hello, beautiful baby boy. Good to have you back. Please give me the song you played at the beginning with the Spanish guitar and the castanets and the flute. It's been stuck in my head for weeks. I don't know what song you're talking about. Spanish guitar. Chat. What is on about? Dan Clancy, the CEO of Twitch. He was at the club getting crunk. Well, I didn't play Suavemente saying it. Oh, they're probably talking about Guerta Valley, yeah. It's Guerta Valley, I think. Or Gerudo, Gerudo. Where people freak out. I got, this is going to be light work today. I need to beat this so my starved YouTube editors have something to work on. It's Rainbow Road. It's where you go. I will say I got better at navigating Vegas this time. Did you see that extra Emily got a global Twitch emote? Hope you're okay since they didn't give you one for being the Subathon guy. Well, I don't mind that. I, oh, what, did they, what did she... Was it a contest? I don't get how it worked. Cause it was like a TwitchCon one. I don't know what in tarnation that was all about. It's where you go when you die. It's Rainbow Road. road, road. Dude. Holy shit. XQC is so rich now. <laughs> like, he was rich before, but like rich in the way I understand it. Now he is rich in a way that I no longer understand. It is beyond my understanding of wealth. So basically the way everything works in Vegas is a pay to win system, right? Vegas is basically like what Twitch streamers do. Give more attention to the people who donate more so they get more donations. And they have like a fucking top, top donator list, but rather than putting it at the top of the screen to encourage more donations, they simply put them in the tallest room possible because the taller your room is, the more important you are. And XQC is someone who gambles such a fabulously high amount of money that he is getting some of the craziest rooms you can possibly get in all of Las Vegas. Rooms that I tried to book online just to see how much it costs, not to actually like go through the booking process, and I literally couldn't get it. Like it said no rooms available four months out because I think that it's they only use those rooms 
for exactly what we're talking about here, which is like those private sort of booking things. Maybe this will work. Nice. God, I'm kind of fucking nice with it, though. So most people stayed at Resorts World, which is, I will I will confidently argue, one of the worst fucking named uh, hotels in all of Las Vegas, but also one of the newest. It's close to the convention center. It's also close to the very infamous sphere, which you can see outside of the window of many of the rooms in Resorts World. Uh, and although it sounds like a somewhat vaguely named amusement park, it is just a generically nice hotel. That's the, the best way I can describe it. It is a generically nice hotel. And it is nice. It is, to be clear, it is. I'm not trying to dog them. They do have a fucking nice establishment. Uh, apparently, it costs them like $3 billion to build it, which is crazy. I don't know how you get $3 billion deep into a build, but but they did. Come on. No, that doesn't work. Fuck. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, it does work. We're so back. Wait, does this work? Oh, fuck. I thought I had that. I thought I was cooking. Ludwig, you cannot stop stream or my friend will stop breathing. The F broke up with them and you take the pain away. Uh, Hit a blunt and freak your shit. I hope that helps. Save the animals. Let me show you a pic. Stop pretending you are good at melon game. Bro thinks he is Sea Dog VA. you so i actually so xqc had this huge villa and it was in the bellagio which is one of my favorite hotels in all of las vegas specifically because of that one scene in oceans 11 where they play claire de lune That made me love this hotel. And uh, and I have once in my life stayed at one of the suites at the Bellagio. And it was actually something that I credit the most for kickstarting my career as a streamer. It was when I ran the event Scar vs. Fendi. A show match that took place <laughs> in a Bellagio suite uh, that was just a bunch of uh, salty matches between Smashers raising money for charity. <laughs> Look at this! I think Yoshi's sword was good there. Ah! That's it! And Scar! Taking it 5-2! Where people like Futanari Idol donated 690 and said, Get blown back, Fendi. That was what I was doing back in the day. However, I knew how to get to the room. What I didn't know... So in the Bellagio, if you go into it, right? You walk in, the entrance of the Bellagio is like... F it's so pretty, dude. It is so gorgeous. They have this, like, insane flower display. Uh, it's definitely, like, one of the, the, the classier hotels, if anything can be classy, because it's all contrived classy, you know what I mean? Uh, but they have this, like, insane flower display. Everything looks opulent as shit. Here's a couple of pictures. This is the outside of the Bellagio, if you've never been to Vegas. This is the inside. It looks insane. And, uh, and everything's, like, bright, fucking huge chandeliers. But the thing that they don't tell you is if you're trying to go to the fancy area, the VIP area, it is behind unmarked double doors that you wouldn't think anything of. You would almost think they're a staff room. And you walk in and it's still somewhat benign. It looks, you know, there's like a staff member behind a desk. But that's when you know you're rich is when you're in that room. When you have to go there. And so we go there and uh and we're like, oh, we're supposed to uh we're supposed to go to the villa. Um, because we were like pre-gaming. This is Friday. This is before the there was like a diplo event. Uh and they're like, ah, absolutely, sir. Right this way. And so they start taking us over to this villa. Uh, let me see if I can find. Is this the right one? No, 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 no. And we went through a maze of shit. 
We went through such a maze of shit. At a certain point, I asked, I was like, does the president walk through this exact path? And she said, no, that's a dumb question. Although he does stay in these rooms. And I said, okay, that's cool. And then she also dropped some wisdom. She said, presidents always stay higher up because it's, it's harder to shoot higher up than uh, lower down. And I was like, that's bars. I've never heard that life in my, or that, that line in my life. Um, okay. I keep finding like villas in fucking, they're showing me villas in, uh, Italy. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? So this is it. It's not really showing me much. It's a 6,500 square foot room, which for context is definitely larger than most houses you will ever step foot in in your life. This is the backyard of the villa. It had a sauna. It had a salon where you could get a barber to come up. It had a gym. It had a bunch of king beds. I was sitting there. I was talking. I was who was I hanging out with? I was hanging out with like, um, like tens. I was talking to tens. And me and tens were talking for a bit. And after a while, I realized I'm like, dude, I smell like shit. Because if you'll remember, I kind of went to Vegas uh, hurriedly, is a mild way to put it. I kind of rushed. I did not exactly prepare very well. And because of that, I I only packed. Two pairs of pants, two pairs of underwear, two shirts. And this was uh, after I'd gone through it all. So I'm kind of a gross, nasty boy. Uh, and I'm like, I'm talking to Tens and I'm like, dude, I kind of want to shower. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to take a shower. Like, Do you think that's chill? Like, do you think that'd fly? He's like, I don't know. They might not notice. So while everyone was partying, I just secretly walked in to the shower that's exclusively used for the sauna, and I just showered there. And nobody noticed, because the room was so damn big, there was no way to notice that a man was showering. That's how huge this 6,500 square foot place was. I threw my underwear in the trash, because I didn't want to put my gross underwear back on. It was like some Fruit of the Loom underwear. I just threw it in the trash. And I just walked out. Somewhat damp hair. I was like, what up? <laughs> Nobody noticed. Nobody said shit. I, I actually... The more I talk, I realize why people don't invite me to shit. Hey Ludwig the first was just wondering what if the toddlers all had knives then how many could you take on in a fight with just your bare hands? Hmm. I think I could take on more toddlers if toddlers have knives because I don't believe in the toddler's ability to wield said knives effectively. I imagine this knife usage is mostly coming at a detriment to the toddlers, believe it or not. Fuck, I really just choked that. Maybe this will work? No, I'm fucking throwing. Ludwig, thanks to your only upstreams a few months back I speed ran my childhood favorite game, Fossil Fighters Champions. I'm 10th in the world, any <laughs> percent, and feel accomplished. Thank you for the inspiration. Hey, congrats. I realize more than anything... Uh, one of the biggest impacts I've had in the streaming space is not like, you know, being the fucking best streamer or the, the funniest or the greatest at events or whatever. I think it is inspiring more people to stream. Which I would like to now a, offer a sincere apology to the world at large because I could not think of a uh, worse thing to have added uh, that being more streamers <laughs> so 
That's my bad. But some of them are mega talented. So, you know, maybe we got that going for us. Hi, Lou. This is old news, but how do you feel about beating Mr. Top 5 on YouTube? I feel bad that I made it such a stink and bothered his life so aggressively for, uh, well, I guess fucking months and months and months because you're still talking about it. Nice story, Lil Cum Boy. Fruit game now? Well, yeah, I'm playing it. I'm literally playing it. Lil Bro, do you want to be called Lil Cum Boy? Lil Cum Baby or Big Cum Boy? I like it when Lil Bro gets big for me. Now for the curse, so you don't beat this under an hour. Testicles, testicles, testicles. Testicles, testicles, what are we doing? testicles. What are we doing for fucking real? Hey, Lud, how are you feeling? Are you ready to beat this damn Brits score and restore order to the world? Lol, just kidding. You're a wittlety bitty cum boy and will never beat C Dog. Just a wittlety bitty tiny whiny fuckity wuckity cum boy. Dude, how do you get 3,000? This is hard. I'm a melon master, but 3K is a lot. Et du doit que Mogul me irrit, du login your stream on October CSTH. Is time to test Brian, his image was running, between the bow of which time stranger, I am smart. I am better. Oh! I am Dude, look at this. Look at what Tim pulled up. This is a quote from when I was working with Haylight. This is in the Washington Post. I've been working with the creator for about six months now. He started with an average of about 10 viewers, and the goal is to see if I can mentor this creator to become as large as possible. What I noticed in the process... There's a lot of finding your own voice as a creator in the early stages that would make it difficult to create a show or event around. I think that was when I was asked about working with small creators. That's crazy. Hey, lad. The stop crying baby message was sent when you were raging last stream before TwitchCon. It never got through because there were too many TTS messages queued. It was funnier when you were raging and on the verge of tears. I give it an hour today. So it's less funny when I'm talking about crying meeting this guy whose words had a profound impact on me. <laughs> yeah, you got kind of boom there. Uh, that's, that's Hey, that's our bad. Why were you drinking Vita Coco when you rated it D on the water tier list? Uh, because I thought it would hydrate me more because I still feel dehydrated. That's what Vegas does to your mouth and body and bones. You should make a bakery called the Breakery that also serves alcohol. That was my dream. Um, no. What do you mean it was your dream? Are you 90? Do it. My dream is just a good bakery that supports my local community that just does good bread. I don't care about fucking sweets and confections. I care about bread. And I, maybe like some protein shit. Because I like that too. Hi, lad. Any tips on how to get intrinsic motivation or discipline to work out consistently? I start workout plans and can never finish them, even with personal trainers I get lazy. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. 
Um, you no, know, you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. I don't know what to tell you. I wish I had better news. Female viewer here. I've been watching you play this while at work and every time my boss who's a 65 white male walks by he asks if the fruity guy has won the game yet. <laughs> Can you not phrase it? Can you ask him to phrase it different? Can you tell him that fruity means like gay? And, and it's not usually the best way to signify gay? As far as the motivation guy, look, everybody learns at a certain point in their life that motivation is is cheap. It's not very valuable. It dies out fast. You can f you can watch a video and feel motivated. You can read a book and get motivated. What you got to do is you got to fucking form a habit. You got to just do the shit. Form a fucking a real ass habit. Which is just a lot of hours of doing the thing consistently. There's no secret. You just got to do the thing consistently. It, it, it requires you showing up and getting it fucking done. Whether it's working out or uh, side hustle streaming or whatever it is. And so... Hey Frenchie, Conair isn't streaming I and so it'll just waste my money on your TTS. I'll, I'll Hope it. you realize that by saying don't make bracelets for me, we're gonna make bracelets for you. No, I'm saying That's make like bracelets. That's like internet 101 I Make a devil. bracelet, don't make it say cummy little cum cum. Right? Anyways, here's some money smile. It doesn't even say cummy little cum cum. Like somebody made a bracelet that said God Gamer. Good bracelet! Your humor, authenticity, and genuine personality have brought countless smiles to my <gasps> face. Your dedication to making entertaining content has truly made a positive impact. Keep being awesome, and thank you for all the laughs, Charlie. Alright, no, it's actually... So, I, uh... It's awkward. Uh, it's actually the wrong account. Um... I'm Ludwig, but um, nah, I get that a lot. It's fine. Hey, Ludwig, the first I'm curious about have you watched any India or Bollywood movies? If yes, any favorite? I haven't. I haven't, but I would like to. I wanted to watch. You know what I wanted to watch? Fuck, who, who recommended this? Uh, shit, How what's does that? it feel to Reality be almost show. 30? Late 20 year old ass. It's JK. I'm, I'm mid -20s. Loving the vibes of the streams. I almost missed my flight in solidarity with you on Thursday, heart. The only reason I. I barely made that flight. The only reason I made that flight is because I drive a damn motorcycle. Let me tell you, motorcycles, they can be so OP. But yeah, I rode my motorcycle to the airport. The, it was like, oh shit, uh, fucked ton of traffic. Um, I mean, it said I'm usually okay. a lurker, but I thought I'd let you know that my bearded dragon will only eat with your stream on in the background. <laughs> Is that real? I want to see a video. Of that. that sounds cute as shit. Hey Ludwig, you got me addicted to this game. You suck. JK love you. Also want to take you out to an ace wagyu place nearby. I'm nasty. I'm nasty. Uh, I don't like wagyu. Hot take, I think wagyu's mid.
Mid, 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 sorry, mid is a lie. I, I am not being fully honest when I say mid. However, I do genuinely believe it to be quite overrated. I find it incredibly rich in putting down, like, I mean, really, like, any amount starts to make me nauseous. Like, if I put down a fuck ton of Wagyu, like, I feel really bad after. This game's gonna fuck me with a percentage soon, I know it. I don't like how much this shit's moving. Can you sing the I Love Fruit oh, song God. again? That was a fuck up of epic proportions. Shit, I'm kind of throwing. Ooh, now I'm mega throwing. Wait, I can recover here. No, I can't. I fucking threw. I'm the melon god. I don't know what that noise is. I really don't like it. Oh, I don't like that at all. That was horrible. Dude, I'm not going to get it. I feel like I'm not going to get 3,000 again. Oh, I'm not getting 3,000 again. Uh, Wait, unless? No, I can't. Did it die? I feel like I'm fucked. So you really think it's a good idea for anyone to start streaming? What if it's just a waste? Wait, what? Did I say that? No. Like, I don't think doctors should start streaming. I think they should keep being doctors. Kayla just wanted to say I appreciate you. These last two to three years I have been struggling with mental health and between your streams and the yard. I've been able to get myself right. It may not be a local community but you've definitely helped me. Yeah, I think there's an ability to help beyond your local community. But I think the highest impact you have is in your local community. And I think, I mean, now more than ever that gets ignored. Because your online world can feel so much larger than your local community. But it just isn't, you know? I mean, people know fucking more about, like, sniper wolf drama Kayla, than long time do their own family These drama. TTS have just been super mean lately. How I wanted to say thank you. 
Hope chat can move past this, little cum boy. Hey Ludwig it's Jojo the guy you chopped at TwitchCon for content. It was nice meeting you definitely a top moment of the day and I will definitely be using you in my thumbnail to farm them views. Good luck with the game, flexed bicep. Good luck with the views, I hope the video is good. I don't want to know my own family drama. Wait, why? God, I do shit people fucking don't dream of. So sick. Ludwig. So sick. I have defeated Mogul Mail. He is the culprit who stabbed TTS Brian on October 16th. Mogul is not dead, but he will not recover soon. I had to mangle him as he attempted to sabotage your game. I believe he spoke in French. Beat this game. Beat the game. No. Bit. Wait, that's actually not bad. That was kind of good. Wait, that was actually kind of good. Wait, hold up. I'm 18 and just moved to LA to work my dream job. However, everyone is five plus years older than me. Any tips on making good friends with no connections? Uh, chat, what do you think? I would assume getting a hobby would help. There's so many easy ways to make friends. You just have to have a hobby that other people have. Like, if you play basketball, instant friends. If you play melee, instant friends. But you need a hobby. You need to do shit. I mean, I think introverts still have hobby. What's an introvert hobby? Pottery or some shit? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about you guys like you're wild animals. You you, you all like that, that pottery activity, no? Dr you like drawing, don't you guys? You like drawing and Hey, bud, uh, have you heard the sleeping, song right? Strawberry sleeping Kisses the by Australia? Nikki Webster, my missing, wishing, missing your strawberry kisses. Whoa, yeah. No, I've never heard that song. This is not going good. This is ugly as shit. Wait, maybe it is going good. No, it's not going good at all. Probably already have costumes, but if you and Cutie don't eventually do Dread Pirate Roberts and Buttercup for Halloween one year, what is the point of anything? Dude, okay. Our, we, our Halloween costumes already leaked, I'm pretty sure. But we're going as Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, which is why I have to grow out this fucking god-awful mustache. I'm like trying to make it look all right, but I kind of just feel like, I kind of just feel like a, I feel like John Favreau. Hello, I'm live on youtube.com. I did. I did. Well, actually, just one bag. All right, anything else outside of the bag is fine to leave. Ugh, 
What 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 did she say? Uh, wait, you did? What? Was it heat? Were they nice boobs? Uh, okay, I actually don't. I don't care if it was nice boobs. I hope they uh, were ugly boobs. Uh, uh, no, I'm not playing Suica. Actually, I've moved on from that game. No, yeah, I moved on to uh, totally different games. No, that's not the... Oh, I just like playing the song still. It's nostalgic, in a way. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Swift misses you so much, by the way. I. Uh. Yeah, he loves you. He likes me, but he loves you. Um, is that this true? You will. I know you saw boobs, Mile. I know you saw a, a big old rack. Uh, I did see a few clips. I believe I was in the plane for a good chunk of it, though. It was on your clip channel. What One thing you don't like about each other. And uh, the top comment is actually really good. It was like, hey, I have something that sucks about Maya. How she doesn't know any fucking movie ever. Uh, I feel like she... Uh, okay, alright, you guys are cringe. Um... Fuck yeah. Uh, alright. Yeah, I did ignore that one. I did read that one, and it hurt my feelings. I did ignore the comment that called me a pet. <sighs> okay. Love you, too. Alright, bye. <sighs> Cutie and Maya did whine about it live. It went great, or whatever. But in the show, somebody asked in a viewer Q&A, what's one thing you don't like about the other? And Cutie's answer was that Maya has a boyfriend, so she can't hang out as much. And then the top comment was like, damn, the way Cutie talks about Maya, it feels like Ludwig is her fourth favorite pet. And on, then on the phone, Cutie said, well, they forgot about Coots, so that makes you fifth. And I, I don't even know who's ahead of me in the line anymore. Like, I've lost count. Well, this is horrible. Unless you give me a strawberry. Oh, I can do this. Clever girl. I'm, I'm playing good right now. I'm playing good as shit right now. I'm actually frying. I'm actually fucking frying these fucking noobs. My strat's kind of heat right now. Probably 
probably best to do this. Okay. Fuck, what do I do here? Beardy Dragon Guy again, his name is Baked Beans and he grew up watching your streams. Genuinely probably your number one lizard fan. He just turned one. Post a pic in the subreddit. You, you shouldn't mind. have put that one there. Okay. Well, it's not fucking narc. I've been waiting so patiently for a strawberry that I feel like it's never going to come. Oh, I shouldn't have put that one there. I do shit nobody's ever seen. This is my first time donating to a streamer. I thought it'd be cool donating to the God Gamer himself. I watched since three years now, huge fan. But Charlie isn't on right now, so I guess you'll do. Settle. I don't like how much white space is happening right now. There's a lot of white space. Let's do this. Uh-oh. 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 No. I'm worried about how high that persimmon is. I might have built my persimmon too high. Oh, heavens. Wait, no, 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 don't break. Oh, God, I'm so scared it's going to fucking blow up in my ass. This is crazy! Oh, this is crazy. I think I need to do it in the middle, but I need to push this over. If I do it on the right, I'm going to really fuck myself over later on. Shit. Shit. 
a third persimmon is so ugly. I don't think I can do it here. I think I have to do it here and hope it doesn't bubble over. I think I have to do it here. I don't think here works. I think I have to do it here. This is horrifying. Try to put it in the middle. I didn't think about it combining. I didn't think about it combining at all. That was such an L. I didn't think about it combining. You shouldn't have put that one there. Why did they give me three persimmons? Dude, that was so fucked. If I had a strawberry, two cherries, a grape, I'm fine. Three persimmons is so evil. That's so evil of them. That was so fucking shit and evil. Three persimmons. Oh, they're so... They're so nasty. I, 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 I couldn't handle three. Fuck. Fuck, I'm 80 off. God damn it, that fucking sucked. That sucked, that was horrible. I could have gotten another pineapple probably. Fuck, it sucks. Why do they why do why do why do they hate me? Why do they hate me? So you guys know the Bacchanal bu buffet in Vegas? They have like a famous bu buffet. It's called the Bacchanal that Buffet. That AT&T stream was hilarious. Lol, when you drew the watermelon, it was a terrible drawing. Who was the real sup of the stream? You and Lily definitely were in on some of it. I wasn't in on shit. I, know, I, I played along. If you guys don't know, I did a sponsor stream for Cutie. It was like some AT&T thing. That's why I had to leave Thursday. I remember where I was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I was being a whiny little baby. It's because I had to do the sponsor stream. Uh, that's why I had to be there. I couldn't stay. But we had a magician, and I and it, Lily was a, a damn op, a fed, an operator, a a, 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 po a police man, woman. Uh, but I, I I'm clean. I, now I, I do I did play along. All right, maybe I maybe I dropped too many sugoi faces when what happened wasn't sugoi. But I thought, hey. If I was the person performing, better to lose my mind than, like, be like, no, I know how that happened. The, 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 one, the one specific circumstance, uh, there was one specific trick where I definitely knew how the trick was done. I def like instantly. I was like, "Yep, I know how that was done." But I wasn't about to be like, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be like, "Um, I actually caught you." I thought that'd be lame. This is tricky. This is tricky. They're they're giving me tough problems here. You should have. Magicians are liars and need to be called out. They're not liars. They're performers. Shit. All right, hold on. I gotta think. I need a uh, an orange. 
Let's wait for an orange. That'll do. This is fine if I do this. Huh. It's much less fine now, but I can do this now. I, I just feel like they really don't give me good fruit. They don't play nice. Play nice. Mommy, play nice. Hey, Lud. While on the topic of mental health, I watch your videos while at work. It's a dead-end job. And I'm depressed every day, but your videos help me going every day. What do you do in that spot? Is it purely a work thing? But we must work. What do you do if you must work and you hate your job? Do you know what actually... There's this guy. So, if you guys don't know, there's a there's this creator named Tevin. Like, I got a lot of messages like that message I just got. And I, and I watch a lot of streams. So, I, you know, when I watch people's streams, oftentimes people will say, like, hey, man, your content really helped me, whatever. And I, I hear it so much that it's kind of in one ear, out the other. Not from, like, um, you know, maliciousness. But, like, I just hear it a lot. And so... I can't believe it's always true or whatever, but, uh, but I was at TwitchCon and I had the, um, that, that badge I was showing you that little VIP thing. Let me go to the purple lounge. And I was talking to Tevin, who's, uh, another creator. I've been donut walling for like a year now. He's been asking me to do drinking games. I've been donut walling him because, because I'm busy and fucking sometimes I just miss shit. A lot of the times I miss shit. It's actually one of the things I want to work on the most next year. And so I'm talking to Tevin and, uh, and I'm like, hey, man, hit me up. I'm going to try to do this drinking stream. And he's like, great. And he walks away. And the security guard, who is supposed to uh, stop people from go accessing that part of the, the TwitchCon without permission, uh, is like this really sweet dude. And he's, uh, you know, he's, he's like, he's soft spoken. Uh, and, and he's like, was that, was that, was that Tevin? And I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was seven. And uh, he's like, shit, dude. Like, I, I really like his stuff. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, man. I, I watch him every lunch break at work. Like, he just makes me smile. And it was like, the, it was just the most sincere way I've seen a human talk in a, in a, in a world where it feels like sincerity is especially hard to come by. You know, I don't think people... Uh, do that a lot. People, I think, mostly just put up a guard to prevent getting clowned. And it, but this guy did not care. He just, he sincerely just fucking really liked Tevin, and his videos really made him laugh. But he was like too shy to call Tevin over. And so, like, with you know, without hesitating, it's like I, I, I have to see this. So, I, like, Tevin's in the like just about to enter the elevator. It's like you know, hundred feet down. I'm like Tevin, get him. Holler at Tevin. He comes over. And, uh, and they chat for a bit and, and, you know, the guy goes through the same thing. Uh, he's just like, yeah, man, like I fucking super love your stuff. Like, uh, and he, the, the way he spoke, it was so sincere. It broke my heart. I don't know how to phrase it, but I realized that a lot of people watch content creators on, on like somewhat of a routine and it's not necessarily always one creator. It's usually like some sort of rotation of creators on a lunch break at a fucking job. They hate or uh, uh, maybe listen to someone on a commute uh, that they have to do to see family or whatever once a week. Uh, and that, like, you know, they, they really, like, connect and, l l like, l learn about those people and like those people. And they're, like, hugely profound on their day, uh, even though they've technically, you know, never met. Uh So 
So anyway, that's all to say, I have to do games with Tevin now because of that one dude. I think his name's Julian. God bless Julian. Uh, if Julian, security guard at uh, the LA Convention Center ever finds this, God bless you. You're a sweet soul. You deserve the world. And to Tevin, when he inevitably sees this clip, I now, because of Julian, owe you a stream, and I will do it, and I've said it publicly. I'm now accountable. I'm now accountable. We will do it before November 18th. I, I know Tevin makes good stuff. That's why I'm entertaining it in the first place. But, you know. Sometimes I'm busy beef. And it's easier to just be like, yeah, no, I can't do it. Or yes, and then kick it down the road. Oh, baby. Of course, it's a damn orange. Oh, no, that's bad. That's actually really bad. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, real. Hey, Ben and wake up. Can you believe that little bro still can't beat this fruity game? I mean, there will be peace in the Middle East before he beats this game. Oh, I like fruit. Damn it, Donald. You can't say that. I like fruit. I like fruit. Fuck. 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 Fuck it all. Fuck it all to hell. I just fucked this run. Lud isn't even on the phone right now. He's just trying to look popular. It's to draw attention away from the fact we still want the gooning stream. Dude. I have like a lot of really cool swag friends. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, come boy. I've been watching for as long as I can remember, just wanted to say thank you for being you. Wish I got to see you at TwitchCon, but maybe next time, heart. Heart, back at you. Wait, I need to focus here. Fuck, I knew that would happen. And that was uh, the worst case. Wait, maybe this is chill? My introvert hobby is staying home and avoiding people. It's not a hobby, I think. <laughs> Um, all right, this is actually chill because I can definitely build, I can, oh shit, I can build another peach for sure. Fuck, this is hard because I want to put the strawberry over here, but it's going to push the apple over the orange, then I'm screwed, but I would love to just build with persimmons. Luddy oh, Wuddy. You will never win. L O O L O L O. I'll now be a good little cum boy and get big for me. This exact thing I'm scared of. L O L. I like the. That message was horrible. I, I mean, it's not the worst message of the day, but easily second worst message of the day. Just atrocious to listen to through and through. Oh, fuck. I've fucked this. I've fucked this so royally. Can I salvage it? Can I make magic happen where none exists? No. No, I can't for sure. Wait, unless I do this. No, no, no. I'm mega fucked. I, I, how am I not godlike? I'm just consistent dropping nasty ass big dumpers, but I'm just getting no love or credit for it. I mean, like, seriously, look at the points I'm putting up.
Yeah. Fuck. 2,640. Like, come on. I think I just really, really have to be airtight at the end. Because, like, I can very easily hit 2,500. All jokes aside, Lud, you're so much better at this watermelon game now. Compared to when you were pretending to have a plan and dropping fruits randomly, you're just a god now. I'm actually nasty. But I've always done shit that no one's ever seen before in the game. How are you worse than Leslie at a game? I'm not worse than Leslie at a game. Actually, yo, I am worse than Leslie at a game. Leslie's, I, I would, I, and I genuinely mean this, I would never say this to her face, but she is pretty impressive at, uh, at a few games. She's like weirdly good at some games. And then also it's just like hard stuck gold in Valorant after having a thousand hours played. So it's like, I don't get it. How are you both? Doctor working the night shift here. What if I have funny things to talk about like how the healthcare system is falling apart and bent dick disease? <laughs> you should go live. <laughs> A bent dick disease routine does not deserve to be held back by the lame practice of medicine. The people yearn for dick disease. C content. I mean, this is exactly what you want. Biggest fruit, bottom right, and you're scaling downwards. Like, this is perfection so far. Hi, lad. I just got rejected from CISU zoology program as a transfer student. The only problem is that I applied as a freshman. Do you have any advice for me on how to fix this lol? Feels bad as a 21-year-old trying to get my degree. I... Got rejected from CSU zoology program as a term of student. The only problems that I applied, the only problems that I applied as a freshman, what does that mean? Like otherwise, otherwise they would have been like, yeah, you're in, but I'm sorry, we don't accept freshmen. Is that how I'm supposed to understand that sentence? Like it was a sure thing. The only problem was that I was a freshman, and they like just didn't tell you until you applied. I feel like it's not the only problem. I mean, maybe it is. I guess I have to just trust what you said. I shouldn't. Assume you lied off rip. That's not good of me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you guys ask me for advice, and my first thought is like, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. <laughs> now, if it's about thumbnails. Uh-oh, I got a few ideas cooking. I always do this. I always do that. Lud, this is the first and last time I will donate to a streamer I want you to know ever since I first started watching you way back in 2019 you have been a huge inspiration to me when I'm a millionaire I hope one day I can thank you in person, thank you. I hope one day when I'm a millionaire, I, you, why would you need to be a millionaire to thank me? You can thank me in person if we meet at a freaking coffee shop. Or a, like a TwitchCon like event, right? Dude, what am I doing? Deadass, what am I doing? I have not stopped listening to Adori Co by Vondi since you recommended it on Instagram. Thank you. Do you oh, know that's more similar fire. songs? Their other stuff sounds so different. Yeah, I got you one. Alright, I can only play five seconds because I don't want to get this video demonetized, but it, it is a heat song. Okay, that's all I got for you. Uh, what's another song that was like it? That was good. Shit. What was it? I don't know. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Stardust in Blue by K K K Day. But not that. Sorry, that's the album. The specific song is Japanese letters. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Uh, okay, hold up. Let's do a quick hiragana lesson. I can do this. I can do this. It is called uh, Kanji Ga. Isn't this Nihon? Nihon? Ga Nihon. Um, uh, ni Netsute. It's called Omokage Vandi. There you go. Oh, it's a small. T Why they got small twos? If I if it was up to me, all my twos would be big. I wouldn't make small two. Anyway, that's that's also I think a similar song. At least I think that's also heat. But you also, I don't think should go to me for music. I'm not the best music. Whoa! Hi, Lud. As a security guard myself who works night shifts, I usually have your stream open which are perfect because I live in Europe. You've also inspired me to do the things I used to love, like editing videos. It's something I left years ago. So thanks. Hey. I'm happy you're doing that. And I hope you keep enjoying it. This shit's been saying low battery for a fucking year. Hey, just started watching some of your streams recently. Just wanted to ask, in a recent stream I heard something about you doing a gooning stream. Is there any updates on that? Thanks, come boy. We're literally back to... I did a whole fucking story time about how we had to be better. And we're back to some debauchery within seconds. Uh, seconds. Uh. Okay. Let us focus on big shit Just on the right. Just joined little stream and don't know if you talked about this already, but would you hint about simulcasting on YouTube and Twitch? I don't know. I I, uh, I would I would like to see some people try it. I don't want to be a guinea pig for it. I, I'm filling up way too much shit on the left side. It's crazy, but they're only giving me little shit. I don't. It's hard to deal with this. Give me big shit, please. Like, look at this cherry, 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 strawberry, cherry. Like, this is a fucking joke. Give me some persimmons. I Give me love. some damn oranges. Love the content. Everyone has been asking, what's your favorite kind of apple? Look at it. Look at, look at what they're giving me. It's crazy. It's crazy. They're fucking me. You're fucking me, game. Uh, I like Pink Lady. Pink Lady is a good type of apple. Uh, I like a good gala. Gala. Uh, a honey crisp is a classic. I don't like Fuji. Zoology person clarification. I applied as a freshman, but they rejected me as a transfer student because I don't have enough credits to transfer, I think. I took a few concurrent and app classes in high school, so I have some college credits, but not a lot. Oh, I should have waited. I'm a dick. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I need to fill this up. This is not gonna work. 
Yeah, I knew it. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. I choked. I choked. I blundered. I blundered royally. Hey, lad. Have you tried spitting on these runs before you fuck them so hard? No. I have not. Hi Ludwig. Weird question. People who don't have lots of money try to show off by going into debt for cars or some other asset to show prestige. Have you noticed this phenomenon occur in the streamer slash influencer world? Love your streams, my wife does too. Uh... to answer but I'll look at the question again to see if I am um well I like stopped that from exploding that was kind of hype okay let's do this did you know what I need oh shit um Hi, Lotto. Weird question. People who don't make a lot of money try to show off by going to debt for cars. So people overspend to have the appearance of of wealth. Is what you're saying. And you're wondering if... Um... I mean... I think there's a bunch of people who spend recklessly. I saw a video of, I mean, even if you're fabulously wealthy, it doesn't you, you can still use money like a bonehead. I saw XQC if like there's like a suitcase of money or some shit to gamble in Vegas. I spent 10k at a club. If you're if you're asking if there are there people baked beans is now on the Reddit and he posed very good for the photo. Thank you for the late night content and I will go back to being a lurker now. All right. Until next time, D. Until next time, D. Excited to see baked beans. Actually, let's go take a peek. Ciao, let's take a peek. We got our number one lizard fan outside. Of uh, Nancy Pelosi, who's a massive fan of the stream. What up, Nancy? Uh, all right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. This is Baked Beans, Lud's number one lizard fan. Look at Baked Beans. Look at this guy. He loves listening to Lud's stream and eating. I leave Lud and Germa's VODs on for him when I'm at work. He also gets his favorite treat, a tomato, for posing so well in his cowboy hat. I want to make him a little Ludbud hoodie sometime. Thank you for allowing baked beans into the community. He looks very good in his cowboy hat. Yes, was watch, waiting, uh, watching the sub, waiting for the pick. I love his hat. Baked beans is cool. All right, let's take a quick break. Just a five. I'm asking for my five-minute break to look through some of the top posts. If you want to play a watermelon game if you don't have Switch, good news, it's now available, actually, on the Switch English store. That doesn't answer the title of this question. But this person made a PC version while watching Lud lose his mind. And you can download it 
and it works on PC. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, they ripped it. I believe they ripped the game completely. Which, uh, definitely not official. Or legal, but, you know, they're not making money. I won't narc. Hit the Luddy with Ludwig at TwitchCon. No, it's definitely legal as shit. Are you kidding me? They ripped it. It's illegal as fuck. But, like, if you're not making money on it, usually you don't get sued. You usually just get DMCA'd. Now, if they were selling it, that'd be a problem, right? But. It's also way easier to get now because it's available on the English store. I think there was a big difficulty in getting it on the Japanese store. Hit the Luddy with Ludwig. Yeah. Yeah, we did crush it. I hit the Luddy with a few people. Let me tell you. Security guard digging the dance moves. Dude, I was walking with Hassan. And, uh, and we were talking because we went to the gym together. And I forget what we were talking about. But he was talking about like, like, uh, oh, fuck, what was it? He was, I was asking him about like what he had going on that day. And he's like, yeah, I'm supposed to record Fear In, but I can't do it till later because Cutie's busy. She's doing some like women's like, like empowerment activity or something like, and I was like, dude, it's called a yoga. And we were walking by a security guard when I said that and she busted up laughing. And it was probably my, my greatest high of the weekend outside of the Halo conversation. <laughs> uh, all right. What else we got after 13 hours? I did it. Wait, you crushed it. You didn't just do it. Oh, that's all you ended with? Oh, wow, they fucked you at the end, didn't they? Look how they fucked you at the end. Because this, this looks like a 3,500. Uh, evidently a Disney princess. Do you have magic hair, magic hands? Do animals talk to you? Were you cursed, kidnapped, or enslaved? Do, do people assume all your problems got solved because a big strong man showed up? Ludwig's latest upload seems to be blocked in the UK. Oh, yeah, yeah. My VOD got blocked. I think it's uploaded on the VOD channel, though, right? There it is. Uh, how does the watermelon game pull such insane viewership? Uh, and it's a website. Oh, it's Playboard. And it's peak average concurrent viewership. Uh, and this is the watermelon game. Because I'm the best to do it. Because I was early to the punch. Because I do shit nobody does in the game. I don't know. You tell me. Zoomer bait game, random Japanese phrases, master in Japanese, dono walling every TTS, sitting in complete silence, talk to pixelated fruit, wants melons to touch for him, wants fruit to get big for him, VOD block, dog shit at game, check mark. Okay, kind of hurtful. I don't know if Lud does custom overlays for games, but I had a thought I'd share. Oh, that's cute. No, I don't do that. How many streams to get bingo? Refuses to increase wages, watches jet lag the game, story time, chat spams union, audio echo, fails challenge, parasocial behavior, hits the luddy, chess, late wake, is French, gets scammed, boys, runs finger through hair, the plan is simple, leak wig, delays streams, watch daily dose, forgets he's not on Twitch, reuses stream thumbnail, cheat wig, original stream idea, this speedrunner, leaves room while videos playing, scam wig. I think the far left is the most likely or bottom left to top right or this right now, nah, maybe this right here is French get scammed boys runs finger through hair in the plan is simple is pretty free. I have a realization about Ludwig. He's randomly spamming 
fruit. IQ 50. No, he's planning ahead and setting up combos. Sometimes the best strategy is to keep fruit separate. It's not always about combining them as soon as you can. Uh, 100 IQ. 150 IQ, he's spamming fruit randomly. Okay, fuck you. All right, I'm back to it. No, I'm back to it. You're going to talk all that shit? I'm back to it. Check this out, bro. I started watching you, Julie, 6, 1995, and I haven't stopped since. Keep it up, Ludwig Anders a grin. I started watching you July 6, not dude, that's my birth when I, my birthday to the year. Love him so bad at the fruit game, every time he visit it gives me pain. Freak it down, it's always a miss, no one wants to be in the same room with him, not even Swift. Okay, why do you have to bring up the fact that Swift doesn't want to be in the same room as me? Like, don't dog me with real shit. Fuck. Oh, it's horrible. Fuck. What's a fire vid you would never make? I... A fire vid I'd never make. Um... A fire video I would never make. I created the biggest atomic bomb ever and set it off on the moon. <laughs> it would be a fire video, but I would never make that. The video ends when I get knocked out hey, Lud, on by the topic a toddler. Of simulcasting, Dot, will you consider simulcasting the Gooning stream? I'm sure you could make a brand deal with someone. And I think what happens in the video is self-explanatory, but I fight children until I get knocked out. I'm not doing a gooning stream, obviously. That's one. Let's get it out of the way. Thanks again, Lud. Just dropped off the all. Heading back to good Ole Riverside. Wait, really? I can never tell if people are baiting me or if it's the real deal. But if you are my Riverside friend... Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your TwitchCon. You really should buy these runs some dinner first. Yeah, before you fuck them, I get it. I get it. I get it. But watch this. That didn't work at all. That was actually so bad. Which Indian TV show were you about to talk about? Uh, oh, it's not an Indian TV show. Uh, I was going to watch Triple R. But I was thinking about... There's this... Uh, como se dice? There's this... Uh, I think it's a reality show. I think it's Korean. It's called Devil's Plan, I think. That looks kind of heat. Are you going to run that marathon in March with Cody? Been training for my first myself. I don't know if specifically with Cody. I, 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 I'm not going to be running with Cody, actually. Let me just... <laughs> Cody's like a... Like, good. Right? Like, from what I understand, Cody Ko is very good at running. In like a nerdy way. 
in like a fucking I get invited to the New York Marathon way. So I wouldn't run next to that fucker. I would just technically be running the same marathon as him. But at a much... I, like, I'd be very far away from him. You know, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm not expressing my thought well, but I think you get it. That sucks. <sighs> Why'd I do that? Oh, no. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens me. Hey there, this is Dust, that wise Valorant commentator. Cool to still see you in the scene with MXS. Love all the content. You now have me playing this game. The frustration is real ha ha. Cheers dude and have a good one. Dude, this game is so viral now. I was on the plane, literally to TwitchCon, right after Rage quitting the stream because I couldn't beat this fucking game. And I see, uh, Ethan the artist formerly known as crank gameplays uh on my flight i go to the bathroom as i'm because he's behind me one row as i walk back to my seat i find out he's playing fucking suika game just just casually wait i might be able to force this no that was stupid I don't need a gooning stream, we're getting goon simulator watching you play sweet car game. Every time you get right up to the edge and stop before getting satisfaction. Okay, but now what, bitch? Oh fuck, now what do I do, bitch? Okay, now what, bitch? Hey Lud, wanted to ask, what do you think about creators having second channels? I mostly make videos in a specific niche where I've found an audience, but want to shift to more variety Drew Good and style videos, should I start a new channel or use my main? Uh, I think you should start a new channel. Um, I don't know. It's a, a lot of the times, starting a new channel is the right answer. But this is a little bit nerdier than my general knowledge. But I think the correct answer is start a new channel most of the time. Hey Ludwig, I feel like I am a failure. I am still in community college and still haven't graduated yet. While all my friends have already graduated and enjoying their life. I feel like I won't enjoy rest my life while still being in college. Mmm, so this. Um, I feel like I'm a failure. I'm still in community college and I haven't graduated yet. All my friends are already graduated and enjoying their life. Well, it's not like, it's not like that, man. It's not like you graduate college and it's like, you know, uh, when you beat a video game and it's it's like oh now it's like the fun f part of the game like in many ways life after college uh, sucks and <laughs> is much harder for people to navigate uh, so I don't know if I like I think a lot of people yearn for college days I mean clearly you're not I don't think enjoying college but, you know, just because you're out of college does not mean that you're not, like, struggling or whatever. So I'll think about that a little bit, you know. Think about the struggles. They're struggling just like you. You're just struggling at a different pace and phase. This is going to break. It's going to blow up. Yeah.
Do, 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 do. True, but that doesn't really make them Is feel much better. Is this a BDSM better. stream? What's with all the choking? Well, I don't know. To me, once I real I realize a couple things, and maybe it's not true, but I believe them. I believe that one, most people's lives are routine based, mundane, and boring. Even the mega rich, mega wealthy, mega famous, mega whatever. Like, they're not fucking partying every day of their life going out. And when they do do that for stretches, it usually does not lead to a life that they like and are happy with. So the, the normal for most is like a lot of routine mundane. And then it made me feel a lot better about my life. Because I don't need to be like doing crazy shit. I can just enjoy life in simple ways. Like riding my motorcycle and waving at people and getting waves back. That's a highlight of my day. Because if you don't know, motorcyclists give a wave to other motorcyclists. And let me tell you, if I get a wave, I ride that high for like a fucking clean month. Like when they wave first, I mean. Because usually I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like a, like a, I kind of hoe out for waves. Uh, so that's the one thing. The other thing is that... Ah, yes, the simple life of spending 10k at a club. Well, that's a rare occasion. That... I mean, I'm not telling you about the night where I'm hitting a blunt and freaking my shit. And you know what? That anyone can do. Hey Lud, what's your favorite part of Suiku game? Suik on these giant nuts. It doesn't count unless I say the thing. And I wouldn't be like, Suika game? Let me think. Suika game. Hmm. Suika game. You guys have no respect for the game. For the art. Hey Lud, I'm trying to publish a paper on free will. Any ideas on how to make agent causation compatible with a largely causal view of nature? I've been using retro causation, but getting a lot of pushback. Thanks in advance. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of people think that it is that uh retro causation but it's actually not it's um all thanks to god and the miracles that he creates and everything happens for a reason Dude, give me some smaller fruit, man. Yeah, some of you guys are disrespectful. I'm in here hustling my ass off trying you to beat this game. You ever braces? I'm getting some soon and a ton of work done to my jaw. Next two years of my life are gonna suck. I'm 33 BTW. Lesson to you kids, contribute to your HSAs and be prepared. The fuck's an HSA? This is not gonna work at all. This is horrible. This is a horrible run for horrible people. Yeah. Um. 
I had braces. Actually, you know, I had something called a Hertz device. What it was, it was a giant metal, like, tube that would go in my mouth, and it would force my jaw, my lower jaw, forward, because the doc said I had an overbite, and my spine would look like spaghetti when I was older. And so that was enough to convince my mom that I should take on the Hertz device. Uh, and it didn't hurt, but if I opened my mouth too wide, it was like a metal tube within a metal tube. And, and this, it would open like this with my, my mouth. So I close it be like this. I'd open it be like this, but I've opened it too wide and I have a big mouth. It would like come out all the way or it would come out and then it like the, it would not like go back in the hole. It would rest on the outside edge. And I'd be like, I'd be like, oh. So sometimes I'd be like, ha 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 ha. Uh. And then I'd get stuck there and I'd have to reach in my mouth and pull it out. It's kind of like a saw trap. Hey Lud, love your content. It always manages to make me laugh or put a smile on my face. Hopefully we'll meet the next time you're in Tampa and swing by the moist warehouse. Can do. Appreciate you, very kind message. Hi Ludwig, I've thought about getting a motorcycle license before. But the idea of riding a motorcycle in LA is terrifying. How did you navigate that and do you have any advice? Mm, don't get it. If you really want to scratch that itch, hey, get like a fucking vest. Will you be going to BCX for the Brawlhalla tournament in Atlanta, Georgia, since you are part of the Moist team? Cheers from California. Cheers! Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you should drive a motorcycle. I don't, I don't think it's a good Hello, idea. Ludwig. It's me, your stepfather, Peter. Decided to pop in and let you know I just hit 4k in the watermelon game, you pussy. Peter would not call me a pussy. Zanny Dimes. Okay, dude, I finally got the game for myself, and I gotta admit, he's kind of good at this. This shit's hard. Yup. Hey, Lada, you're gonna do another Pokemon unboxing? Oh, yeah. Check this out. So, you know when I did that, hey, I asked 100 YouTubers and streamers for an idea? Young gave me this Pokemon box, and she said you have to give it back. And I never did, ever. <laughs> I just stole that shit from her. I haven't God, told her. She has no clue. So, we can open one? this one ever. 21? What's 9 plus 10? No, uh, 19. 21? No. Thank God it don't got that in it. What's 9 plus 10? 21? What are we doing here? Thank God it don't got that in it. What is this? Man. 21? What is this? You is stupid. Pissing me off. No. Fuck. It's mine. Hello! 
Hello, Lud. Hope you're doing well. What is one type of cuisine you have yet to try but have been recommended? Just had Peruvian food and Lomo Saltado was delicious, people. <laughs> I mean, barring the accent, that TTS voice talks with the same level of enthusiasm as American Pete. Uh, Ludwig, what's one type of cuisine you have yet to try, but people have recommended? I don't- Just hurry up and rage quit so I can go to sleep already, it's 3 a.m. for crying out loud. Okay, well, for crying out loud, I'm not gonna lose the fucking run. I'm gonna- I'm doing really well today, so... For crying out- for, I'm crying out loud at you for saying all that mean shit. A uh, cuisine? A quiz- a cuisine that I haven't tried yet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a. I, 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 I don't know where it is. I, it's an African dish, and the idea is you grab like some dough, and then you put food in the dough, and then you eat it. And that has always looked yummy. But I don't really know what it's called or what it is. Foo foo. Yeah, I want to try foo foo. Fuck yeah, baby. Shit, I just kicked over my switch. Well, it still works. This is hard. I don't know what to do now. It's 12.30 a.m. for you, Lud. Get some food and caffeine to help you keep going. Wait, it's almost fucking midnight? What? This is actually such a clean run. I can't believe it's almost midnight. Well, the thing is, t chat, so tomorrow is the uh, the show match for MXS. It's the show match versus MXS tomorrow. So I, I cannot... Uh, I can't stream. Or, excuse me, I'm not going to stream until late. I'm going to stream the show match tomorrow night with Tarek. So it's going to be fun, but I won't be able to play Fruit Game. So I want to try to squeeze in what I can right now. No, I just did that. I just did that. That's so bad. Fuck. Shit. Oh, it's Jover. Oh, it's so Jover. Oh, it's actually Jover as shit. Oh, genuinely can't believe I did that. Oh, yeah, it's so Jover. Is it Jover? Yeah, it's so Jover. Why am I even like, like even pretending? I should have waited. Fuck. Okay. Hold on, I need more water.
was just getting caught up on the beginning of the stream after work and then realized you hadn't ended yet. So I checked to see if you beat the score yet. Then I was like Pog, that's 5 hours of the stream I can just skip. Ludwig, this is like five cents. I'm exploiting my poor economy to send you a message. Hello. Well, it was 14 cents for me, so. But I, it's, you know. Not about the money. Think about it. Nobody, nobody gets this. I don't stream for the money. How the hell did you get Slime to do chess boxing? Did you tickle his ego or was it just pure bloodlust? Shoot out from a fellow Swede. I do it for the cloud. Uh, he wanted to do chess boxing. Slime asked me to do chess boxing. And I had to like triple check that he was down. I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because he almost did the first chess boxing, but he had a thing with his heart. It was old or some shit. But then it turned out his heart was chill. Be smart. Any advice on getting over a breakup? She said she wanted to see what's out there since it was her first relationship and she wanted to just be friends, but I just feel horrible and can't stop asking myself why I wasn't good enough. It came out of nowhere. Um, I mean, she probably just wants to freak her shit. <laughs> Which I, you know, I get. That doesn't feel good. But I don't think it's a you thing. I mean, I'm assuming she was being honest. Because that's a pretty common reason to break up. Usually right around, like, I'm assuming you guys started dating high school. Maybe dated through some of college or dated through college and then to early adulthood. And, uh, and maybe like you guys were each other's first or something. I feel like in those dynamics, there are lingering questions of, oh, am I in this relationship because it is like fate or is this just because it's the first relationship I was in and I like to be honest there's probably not a correct answer like both are almost always like feasible like, staying together probably works. Breaking up probably works. You know what I've thought? I've thought, like, no matter what 
circumstance in life, people will rationalize the decision they made. Even if it's like objectively wrong if an alien was spectating your life. Because it is really hard to live a life where you feel like you made the wrong choices. Which makes sense to me. Anyway, in conclusion, how do you get over a breakup? You, uh... Usually out of a breakup, you're supposed to get really hot. You're supposed to, like, start caring about something new. Like, pour over coffee. Yeah, maybe you go to the gym. Always, that's a classic. Hi Lud, started watching just pre-pandemic. Been super depressed and you haven't helped I just like your stuff anyway thanks for noticing my paid message smiley face. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Come on, don't let these cherries get between us. Don't let that one cherry get between us. We could be something. What is this? Oh, seriously? Oh, now it's never combining. Hi, Lud. Lots of love from your no, only it's female never gonna combine. viewer from India. You are my only representation of actual Americans. Hope you are doing a good job. Bruh. <laughs> well, I would argue that I am, um, I'm probably like, like kind of an American on steroids when it comes to like, um, muscles. Like most Americans are not as big and huge as as I would I get for you. For one, that's for starters. That's off rip. That's just off top, off dome. Uh, numero dos. Uh, better gamer than most Americans. That's just a given. You probably knew that. God gamer for a re. What were you saying, little pup? This is my last run.
Hey Lud, I have to do you go think to bed. I should focus on making videos or streaming more? I know consistency is key but I have commitment issues. Just like your commitment to streaming on time. Okay, I can't tell if you actually want advice or if you want to fuck with me. Hey, Lubby, when can we expect the Yard D and D episodes to start dropping? P.S. Saw you at Twitchkin. I know you were trying to be discreet, but hard to disguise yourself when you're walking around like a big K glass of milk. Dude, <laughs> relax. My gosh. Let's have a little decorum amongst ourselves. All right, it's actually kind of of a good run. Hey, lad. With chess boxing postponed, are you looking at new fighters or just going to run the same card? Also, not a suggestion, but watching Manga V Slime as main card would be a dream thoughts wait check this thought out mm. yup yup fuck dude I feel like this is the hardest part is when I have this stupid little fucking hole and a bunch of little ass tiny baby ass cherries that they keep giving me. I just I have I have to let it die. I think. About Aiden wanting to move to Sweden, we can give you Lefen in exchange. Fair deal, no take back seas. I like Leffen. I take Leffen. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it all to hell. I have watched you struggle with this game for what feels like years. So I downloaded it and got over 3k on my first try. I'm not good at games. What does that say about you? Maybe you should try woodworking or something. Don't think gaming is for you. Okay, well, little pup, you're literally talking about a score of 3K. That is, like, is the fact that you're writing home about 3K kind of says all that we need to hear about you. That's not like a score that you bring up. You know what I mean? Like, I'm dropping 3.3s, 3.2s. You know? 3K is entry. That's entry. This is so fucked. This is so fucked and ugly. Hey, Lot, I need some advice. I'm 23 and have never had a girlfriend. I hate this so much. Women don't tend to be attracted to me. Wouldn't say I repulse them, but they never want to even go on a casual date. Should I play Warcraft, or is there a better MMO I should check out? It's called Dofus. Shit. So I hate- I do. I hate this shit so much. Fucking hate this shit. God, this one sucks. It sucks. This position sucks. It's sucky. Like, I'm doing everything I can, but I, I can't put a cherry back here. Otherwise, it's going to knock the pineapple over. Oh, it's such a bad position. There, there's so many dead fucking fruit that I have to just chuck down into this abyss and cry about. I, I just need such 
god like RNG, which I'm not hitting even slightly. Hi bit. again from your only female viewer from Fuck India. Fuck me. You are the best American gamer I know, so that checks out. Okay. Please do stream at this time every day so I can watch you inside of do my actual job. Oh god, I will try. I will try to do what you ask. Wait, this could be good. Oh, please touch. So I need one more apple, then I'm clear. <laughs> of course. Oh, no, 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 this is so bad. No, it's not gonna touch now. Fuck! Handed me shit! They handed me shit! Fuck, dude. Fuck, that sucks. Why did you hand me such shit? Oh, wait. It's back. Okay, but now... But now what? Wait, it all worked out. It all worked out, even though they handed me shit. I think my miracle... My miracle plays for the middle-aged man worked. But now what? I don't like how much the stage shifts. Voice crack lol. Oh my god. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. This pineapple sucks up here. I really hate it with a passion. It's impossible. It's impossible. Ah, oh, yikes. Yikes. Oh, so ugly. This is so ugly. This is so ugly. So ugly, so ugly. I, 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 I didn't know what to do with a pineapple that high. Dude, I want to go to bed. I want to go to bed. God, I had such a good run today. Love that thrusting stuff was some fruity shit.
Oh, it's all fucked. It's all fucked. I need to think I need to think deeply but also but also firmly mm, yes what the hell ten dollars for text-to-speech statements this is why you will never beat Connor uh, it's ten dollars and y'all still don't shut the fuck up so I feel like I might have priced it too low Alright, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, you Muppet, come on, you Muppet, yes, this is the part where I just can't, I don't, I just cannot fathom what to do. It's like I just gotta shove a strawberry into a crack that it'll never get out of ever. And, and like it's gone. It's fucking gone forever. It's gone forever. <sighs> but not but not anymore, because I'm such a fucking god gamer. People don't understand my genius. <laughs> hey Lud, you think off-brand will ever IPO? Mm, like, is that like, go public? No. I, well, I don't know. I don't like the idea of it. But I don't get to make all the calls. I'd rather make a good, sustainable business that works. Then I feel like when people IPO, they just get a lot of money, and then they're like, let's burn all the money really fast in hopes of, you know, growing, you know, whatever, at a f higher rate. But then their business plan just sucks. Just suck. And they have a shit business plan. So I don't want to do that. No, <laughs> dude, it, the Sarlacc pit has swallowed another victim. Fuck, man. No, you slid in? Be fucking for real. Doctor. The experiment is a failure. He still thinks he is a professional streamer, and he can even beat the fruit game to wake him from his coma. Thank you, nurse. I did not want to have to do this, but it's time to freak his shit. Don't freak my shit! I'm fucked. They, 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 they fucked me so fucking tenderly. Look at that. Look at look how fucked I am. Look at that. Look at how fuck persimmon 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 persimmon. 
God damn it! It makes my blood boil. It makes my blood boil with the- That was such a shit run! This is such a shit run, too! Ah, I wanna vomit. I wanna vomit. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate this game. I hate this game. Have you shit! Shit! I hope you shit yourself. I don't know when. I don't know where. I don't care. I hope you shit yourself in the next week. Just shit everywhere. And I hope you think of me. I hope you think of me when, 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 you, when you have a nasty shit. Hey, little bro. My comment got you heated earlier. My bad. I should be supportive. I know it seems unlikely, but I genuinely think you could be good at this game where you drop little fruits together one day. You should watch this streamer comma he's great. Are the fruits sentient? They have expressive faces. Does that mean combining them creates a hive mind? Also I beat your high score in 6 attempts. Try to make your throwing less obvious. I hope you shit yourself as well. I hope, I hope you have such a gross nasty shit. Focus, focus. Nice. This is good. This is good. Hey, Lud. Big fan for a long time since you first were on the come up. I've recently given the yard a chance, and now I look forward to the next episode every week. Keep it up. You're very inspiring and make me want to press content. Inspire too many content creators. I, Lud, in all seriousness, how are you this bad at the game? I'm Use ready common for Persimmon sense, City. Little Brawl I think Persimmon City now would be pretty hype. 
in all the seriousness, Alec, if I ever saw you in real life, I would gag and run away. In all seriousness, though. You seem chill, though. I just wouldn't fuck with you. In all seriousness. No, but like in all seriousness, like I'd rather take a nuke. To it my took face. Sea Dog five hours to beat your high score. How much time have you spent trying to Fuck, beat his? Dude, oh, shit, my controller's dead. It's la it's lagging so much. You know what? I'm not totally unconvinced that Connor didn't fucking cheat to beat my score. All right, that fucker cheated on schooled. We don't know that he actually beat my score straight up. We're taking his his word for it that he didn't cheat. Not really the best guy. I'm just saying. Nobody's exploring the data banks. so jover but i still do freak shit and i just i have to wonder how i'm doing it oh come on oh if you touched for me that would be so big because you get so big for me i don't think you want to touch for me do you nah you, you don't uh but if you did though you get so big Sorry that people are being rude. This game is harder than it looks. You're my favorite streamer. I appreciate you and you inspired me to drop out of my civil engineering program to stream watermelon game professionally. Apparently anyone can do it. That was, that, that was gonna be a nice message. You know? Would've been refreshing. But, um, I get it. I don't need our, need our low W's where we can get them. So I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm hip. I'm hip. I, uh, totally get the desire for lols. Totally get that. I'm on the same page. If offered, would you accept an endorsement from the legend and go Tom Brady against your moral values? D. Would I accept an endorsement against my moral values? But it's an endorsement from Tom Brady? Wait, can someone explain it to me? Like I'm uh, five. So like, 
Tom Brady comes to me and he's like, I have an NFT company. Me, Tom Brady, I want you, Ludwig, to promote my NFTs that me, I, Tom Brady, am making. Will you do it? Or will you never, ever hang out with me ever again until we both die and perish and squander your one chance to hang out with me? My name is Tom Brady. Hi, I'm Tom Brady. Is that how I'm supposed to understand this question? To put it lightly, I would suck the schmegma out of his dick. <laughs> crass. That's so crass. Uh... <laughs> I could not say it. It was too crass. I do like Tom Brady is what I was going to say in, in harsher words. Hey Ludwig, just wanted to say thanks for always making content. I have had and sometimes I get stuck in perpetual state of indecision. It gets really anxiety inducing. Your streams always help though, even if I just play them in the background. I knew that was coming. Hey man, I'm sorry that you uh, don't feel so great, but I'm happy the streams help a bit. Hey Lud, I think it's a skill issue. As a tip I recommend simply being more skillful X. I want to melt into a small little puddle. Just me and my puddle melting. Hey Easy Pickens, when are those moist mogul baseball jerseys coming out? What was all that talk about smegma also? You okay, bro? The fruit game getting to you or something? Keep going, lil' pup. You'll beat that Welsh guy one day. I can do it. I can do it. Yes, I can. I can do anything. Hi, cuck boy. I can do Jokes it. aside, this game is actually hard, just it. like you, and I'm impressed with your skill. Question Do you think there are more doors or wheels? Bye, cuck boy. Love you. I've answered this. It's wheels. It's wheels, not a shadow of a doubt in my mind at all. I think door believers are fundamentally problematic and maybe detrimental to this nation's democracy if allowed to proliferate good night stinky boy winky face face don't you dare give me a winky face what am i doing what am i doing is any of this even good i feel like this one's horrible
one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. Hey lad. I know you're busy, but last year your Pogo Stuck Vids inspired me to create my own Fodian game. It's a platformer called Step by Step and the gimmick is you can't stop moving. I know you'd enjoy it. Please consider taking a look at it. Thanks. Blood, serious question. If you hypothetically can never beat Connor's score, will you spend the rest of your life trying to do so on stream while getting bombarded by mean TTS messages? If so, how long do you think you can last before you go clinically insane? I will never quit. I think... Okay, here's where I'm at. Fuck, dude, I suck. Okay. Damn it, I had such a good-ass run today. That was so good, and they gave me so many persimmons, and I hate, I hate them. Cute video. Okay. Nice to meet you too, Baby Yoda. All right. I failed today at the Suica game. I pick it up again, not tomorrow, but Tuesday. I'm going to go on a motorcycle ride Tuesday. So after the motorcycle ride Tuesday, I'm going to try a bit more Suica. Tomorrow is the MXS show match. This Thursday, we're doing 2v Tuesdays, the uh, Leslie event, but I'm hijacking it. We're doing a Crocs-sponsored stream. A Crocs-sponsored stream. That'll be Thursday. Uh, so we got a pretty good week ahead of us. We got some things planned. I might try to do a candy Halloween candy tier list with Connor before he leaves uh, but it depends he might be too fucked from his trip for all that in in, in, in which case I totally fine and wouldn't do it uh, and we also have um, one more thing what was the other thing we have Uh oh, one v one. We got one v one. Uh, Suica game that I can try out. Anyway. Yeah, it's all right to leak. I confirmed. All right, let's play one game of chess and then I end the stream. Fuck.
Hmm. Shit, what do I do? Alright, defended once. No, defended twice. Shit, I'm dumb. Fuck, what do I do here? I think if I do this, takes up over here. Can they stop this? Fuck. Oh shit, so if I go here, he goes here. I go here. Caleb, my GF thinks you're really hot and teases me about it when I watch your streams. She says you're her streamer boyfriend and things like, oh, you're watching my BF play games again? My question is, will you back TF off? Um... I think, I think you're hot. I had to. I had to. There was literally no other way out, chat. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Why is this guy so good? Wait, then... Oh. Wait. Oh. No. Oh, she's gonna freak out. Fuck. Queen is stuck. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. <clears throat> no, let's take a look. We got a fun chatter. You could have saved your queen by checking in G6 instead of blundering, says Logan Thorne. Logan, welcome to the hot seats. Welcome to the hot seat, Logan. Let's check to see if you were accurate about that claim. This is the position where you had claimed that I could have gone G6. Or was it right here? Was your idea for me 
to check with the queen? Congratulations, Logan. Your brilliant move was in fact a brain dead blunder because the nut. Excellent. I mean, I don't know if it was ex excellent. It's kind of a. I'm sorry. What? What? What's excellent about that? It's. It's not even a top three engine. It's a. Oh, wait, I was in such a bad position that every single move was losing. So the best move was actually to move my king. Anyway, Logan, I think what you said was still wrong and dumb. Because I think the faith of what you said is that I could save the queen. But the queen would die. So I will still permanently ban you forever to die. Too harsh? I leave him to die forever, never to be remembered. Unless I win this next game. do that why do I do the things that I do fuck me such a bad position. This game's not going well. I don't know if you guys have noticed this.
so obvious. Oh, this is a fucking race now. I gotta get all my pieces off the light squares. You fucked up! Shit, no you didn't. Yes, you did! Yes, you did! You fucked up, idiot! God, you fucked up so good! I, liter I literally move up one. I literally move up one. I'm coming for you. Now what? All right, fine, fine, Logan. You you keep you won't shut the fuck up, Logan. We're gonna play. What's your chess.com? You just said I would have won that. It's time to nut up, Logan. We play right now. If I beat you, you are permanently banned. If you win, you are not banned. A refusal to play is a timeout and we forget your name. Craigerst Gambit. You talk so much shit. I bet you're fucking horrible. You're 200 rated. 200. You're horrible. And I still saw a move you didn't. No, you didn't. You thought the queen check would save the queen. It just gets captured by a knight. 
The analysis saying excellent does not make it excellent. Let's find out, Logan. Here, you don't got to chirp. You can use your gameplay. You don't have to be in chat talking all that good smack. Use your moves. Use your wisdom. Ah. You play the Scandinavian. Let's see which variation. Do you play D6 or D8 or the very legendary A5? Impossible. Uh. <laughs> oh man, that's that's a tough start. I won't lie, that's a tough fucking start. Check that out, and you can't capture back. Because I pinned your pawn. You missed that. Your pawn is pinned. I've pinned your pawn. And now I get a free fucking rook. Wait. Hmm. I did it because I thought it looked swag. That's it. Logan, you're you're an enigma. I've never seen anything like it. I've never this this feels inhuman to me. Dude, what is going on? I feel like you're going for a stalemate, which I respect deeply, but your unfortunate position is that you have all these moving pawns. So the only move that I need to do to win is put you in check. Okay. All right, chat. Thank you all for watching today. I will not ban Logan. I think being known as that level of chess player is enough. And I got my one rating point from you. So thank you to Logan. I appreciate the rating point. I will see you guys all back here tomorrow night with Tarek for the MXS versus Sentinels show match. Super fucking exciting. Uh, excited about that. First time you're ever going to see MXS. I deadass think... We are going to beat Sentinels. Mark my words. We're going to beat Sentinels. There's going to be fucking panic in the Valorant Competitive Discord. 
Because our team is going to prove we're as good as a franchise team. And Rob, woo, I do not want to see Rob's face. But that'll be tomorrow, chat. Uh, and then Tuesday, back here. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your night. I will see you all tomorrow for that. Goodbye. See you later, everybody. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed my stories. And not really my gameplay today. That was not the best gameplay I've ever had. Peace. What if we raided? We haven't raided in a while. We could maybe perhaps raid someone. Oh, I guess it's fucking 1 a.m. Who's there to raid? Can raid S fan. Let's raid S fan. He's doing a TwitchCon stream. So if you guys want to do some TwitchCon enjoying, there you go. All right, peace.